Equalizer mic test. Cool. Ah, vintage 2023. Yes, this is the good stuff, guys. Uh, got milk? All right, so... We're going to be getting started here in, looks like, just under nine minutes, guys. Uh, I'm doing a countdown timer today because uh, this this series has started to garner a lot of uh, interest. By the way, if it looks like I'm looking up a lot when I'm talking, it's because my, my streaming software is up there and the camera is down here. So it's hard for me to remember, like, oh. Boy. Anyway, so... Uh, this series has garnered a lot of interest, so I'm starting a 10-minute countdown timer to get people time to get signed in so that they don't miss anything right at the beginning so uh again we're going to be starting at about eight minutes here i'm going to mute my mic and just kind of finish getting set up
And my mic was muted that entire time. Wow. All right. Let me try that again. Welcome to the stream, everybody. My name is Phelandea. I am working on this trailer, the Utility 3000R. Uh, just a little bit of an update yesterday. Uh, those of you guys that were wanting to tune in yesterday probably noticed um, I did not stream like I said I was going to. Uh, I woke up in the morning with some tech issues. The internet was just being flunky. And then when I finally got that resolved, it ended up that I was... Uh, uh, I had a little visitor come, my mother, uh, visiting my new house for the first time. I've, I've been living here almost a year, but she hasn't had a chance to come see the place. So I entertained her for most of the morning and early afternoon. And then when she left, I just was just like, you know what? It's just too late to really do the stream today and get involved in it. So I just didn't stream yesterday. I did very little work on the trailer. Um, because I didn't want you guys to really miss much. All I did was I used the techniques we already did in episode one to add the 3000R decal on here. And I changed the roof out as well. So the roof is going to stay a metal color. Um, yeah, the roof's going to stay a metal color. It's not going to be the color of whatever your paint job is. In real life, the roofs are very rarely, if ever, painted at all. So there's just no point in having it uh, like that on my mod. So, And I did do a lot of rearranging of the reflectors. Try to get my camera set up here. Uh, I did do a lot of rearranging of the reflectors. So I did manage to get them set up just like the real trailer. And so I was able to rearrange the decals to be just like they are on the model trailer that I used. So, um, oh, and I did custom up flaps. So, yeah. So that's the thing. Um, other than that, I, I really didn't do much. But today, we are going to do a lot, guys. We are going to do a hell of a lot. We're going to do what's called... Uh, commonly referred to in the modeling world as kit bashing. Kit bashing is where you take parts from one item and make them a part of another item to combine them to be its own unique item. So, uh, kit bashing, by the way, that term comes a lot from the plastic modeling community uh, where you can take, uh, you know, little plastic Estes models or whatever the um, the old plastic ones you can take out of a box and you use glue and you put them together or, you, you know, they have some that are snap, but I prefer the ones where you use glue and actually have to put forth a little bit of effort and you paint them and all that. Well, you could take parts from one model and put them on another model. I used to do it a lot with starships in the, uh, Star Trek universe, uh, combine the parts to make unique starships. Well, that's referred to as kit bashing and that's exactly what we're going to do here. I have an, uh, another model that has the doors that I want and I'm going to take elements from that door I'm going to put them on these doors. We're going to start that right now. So I'm actually going to, I've already saved them in a blender file. So this is the cool part here. Let me just open that actually. Um, I saved it as 3000R assets. So this is going to open up another instance of blender just so I can kind of show you. And here's the trailer I've taken stuff off of. All right, so we're gonna take these cross members, hinges, and whatnot, and possibly the bumper. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, dude, that was a Utility 3000R as well. Why don't you use that model? Uh, it's because it has so many polys. Guys, if I used that actual trailer, your game would be hit so hard. I, I don't care how good of a computer you're using. It actually took me 10 minutes to oh, to import that thing into Blender. It was horrible. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to mess with that too much. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, our door hinges are kind of solid. So, ooh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But let's try. So I'm going to append... 
from my assets object and I'm gonna import anything that says Fedor. I renamed everything so that we could get that. By the way, I don't think the music is overriding. If it is, uh, let me know. It should be okay. All right, so fade door, fade door, four, five. I have a lot of door parts here. Looks like I have like nine different door parts. So I'm going to hit a pin on those. And that's going to bring this door in. And then I'm going to... Come down here. Whoops. I am going to tone the music down just another 10%. Well, 10. 10%. There we go. There we go. I want it to be slight background music just to help me relax. I don't need it to be loud enough to overbear my voice. And I think I jacked up, didn't I? Oh, it needs to be under chrome. Oh, you pin in the neck. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, I jacked up. Yeah. That was supposed to be under chrome as well. Uh-huh. Oops. Good thing we caught that now, huh? Okay, so we have... This door that we can possibly use. I need to turn it all around. There we go. Oh, you know what? Let's actually put that back there. I'm gonna pin to one more thing. I don't know why I didn't name it door, but I need to append vent. Because that's the vent door. There we go. All right. And you know what? I'm going to change vent to door. Sweet. Now, let's see if we can even get this all to fit. I'll just use the whole freaking door if I have to.
actually kind of on there. That's amazing. That's that's a uh, pleasing result, if you ask me. But the problem is, uh, the other door, the actual door. Let's take a look at this. So I'm going to take out the original door. The problem that I am seeing here is the original door also has all of the pieces that come down and over like so. Uh, wow. Um... If I make that invisible, let's, ah, let's see. What I might do is append the bumper. I don't think the bumper had the, the little stick out either. Nope, it did not. So we're going to be getting creative. We are. We are going to be getting creative. Let's first find... Your body, your mud flap. Body, chassis, chassis. Body. Simple. Well, that seems simple. Okay. By the way, I need to apply the transforms I just did on the door before, you for before I forget.
Very good so far. Now what I need to do is try and size and line it so that it matches up with those circles. Let's go into, let's go ahead and select the bumper again. And we're going to go into wireframe so that we can try and, uh, try and do this. There it is. Matches perfectly on that side. Matches perfectly, well, almost perfectly over here. Yeah, I think that's as close as we're going to get it. All right, so now we're going to, I'm gonna stick with the bumper that I already got, probably. Let's see where that's at. Yeah, there it is. And there's the lights. Cool. Okay. So let's get rid of this. I'm going to take the license plate holder. And we're going to turn it into another item. We're going to come out of edit mode, get these, and also select those and make them their own item. Now the license plate on these utilities is over to the left. Looks like front and back is fine so I'm gonna bring it over to the left. Kinda under where all the lights are too far right about there let's go into a side view and bring it down that's looking good bingo all right 
actually, uh, I'm gonna stick it in a bit because on the real trailer, it's like right up under here. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Looking gorgeous. Uh, do I want to even use the original lights or should I bring in? Hmm. Yeah. I'll use the original lights. So I'm gonna again go into wireframe and then what I'm gonna do just to make this easier. Whoops, come on, come back here lights. Uh, I'm just gonna delete all but one light. And then we're gonna line it up and size it. So Let's grab it by the Yankee. Whoops. X, dude, not Y. Z. Bring that size out just a bit. And then, now I'm gonna grab it by the Y. And bring it out here just a bit. And there it is. Well, now we got our first light. Now, I'm going to duplicate those verts and bring them over here. And I gotta go back into 2D mode so we can do this right. Actually, did I jack up? Is it? Uh, hold on. I'm actually going to delete those. We're going to come back to this one. I think after I pulled it out, I realized that I may have sized it up just a bit too much. There we go. There we go. That's a much better fit. Oops. I'm like doing all kinds of weird stuff here with my shortcut. I'll be very clumsy on the fingers apparently today. So basically what I'm doing, I'm in edit mode, right? And I have the verts that I want. I'm pressing shift D to duplicate. Then I just hit the enter key to complete the action. Then I hit G and X to go on the X axis to drag them left and right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just plopped that one right in place. Cool. Uh, so shift D, enter, G, X, drag it. Looking good. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let me light up your life, baby. Oh, yeah. We're going to pretend I didn't just get all like funky flirtatious with the stream here. Okay, so we have lights. Now, you'll also notice that the chrome is not matching, it's like mismatched. So, we got to. We gotta deal with that too. Alright, let's grab this bumper here. Actually, 
need to grab the reflectors and the rivets as well. So we're going to bring it down on the Z axis, bring it forward, bit upward. Let's make that flush. There we go. Now the little holders are not matched up, but we can fix that as well. I think these just sit on top here. They're going to cover one of those rivets. I'm okay with that. Now you'll notice there's this uh, texture being a pain in the neck here as well. But we'll square that away momentarily as well. Because we're going to change the texture on a bumper. We're going to be matching the chrome of the rest of the... Uh, I'm going to make the rest of the trailer match the chrome that's on this. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, all right, now about this texture, let's take a look at the texture on this, which I need to move into here anyway, which is uh, aluminum AO2, okay, and then aluminum AO4. Aluminum AO6. No problem. All right, so. Let's go into my modding workshop. Project bases, we're gonna go into the assets folder, vehicle, um, what's the path? Let's get over here where you can see it. Trailer utility 3000. Textures aluminum. Okay, there it is right there. So I'm going to copy that. Put it here. Let me stick that on another screen to, to kind of get rid of it. And let's open up our Photoshop. Photoshop, not DaVinci. Oh man. <laughs> I accidentally clicked the DaVinci icon, I think. Yep, I did. It'll take just a moment to load that up and I'm just gonna exit out. There we go. All right. Yep, 
Beautiful. I'm going to take this aluminum AO and I'm going to create a new layer on it. I'm going to take my dropper tool and I'm just going to sample the actual aluminum. I don't need any of the AO bits. And let's just do this. Now, this is a solid color. So I do not need this big ass file. So I'm going to hit Control Alt I. It's 2048 by 2048. I'm literally going to shrink it down to 64 by 64 because this is just a solid color. I could even go smaller than that if I want, but this makes it big enough to where if I'm looking at it in a folder, I could tell, oh, it's a solid, you know, gray file. So now I'm going to save this as just aluminum. As a Targa. I want to give me the Targa option. Screw you then. Okay. Aluminum. Targa. Save. Sometimes Photoshop will let me do a Control Shift S and give me the Targa option. Sometimes I have to do Control Alt S, which is to save a copy, and that gives me more options. It's weird. I don't know. Photoshop has done some strange, strange stuff. All right. Now, I'm going to take this uh, matte aluminum AO and I'm going to copy it to aluminum AO.001. Okay. And then I'm going to assign the doors back to this. I'm going to go to the bumper and I'm going to assign it the aluminum AO. dot zero zero one that we had but I'm gonna rename this to Matt Chrome we'll just name it Matt Chrome okay now I'm gonna get uh, grab that new texture that we did on our vehicle trailer on SES box Something went weird here. Hold on. Oh, it has a uh, it has an alpha with it as well. Okay. Let's make that alpha solid. Hey, what's going on? Not much. There's our aluminum targa. So we're gonna do that, and now you see our bumper is actually matching the rest of everything here. Uh, I forgot to grab this reflective texture on the way down, but you know what? We are actually going to get rid of that, and I'm gonna get rid of the one that's on the bumper as well, because we're gonna replace that with. Uh, decals that aren't smeared all over. Makes sense? Yes! Good. I'm glad it makes sense for you guys. Alright, now, again, let's go ahead and go over the rest of the trailer and make this chrome match. So I'm going to assign Oops. My Mac Chrome to this. <gasps> oh, that took out the rivets. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, so let's do something else here. All right, this is a diff spec add environment. Diff spec weight add environment.
I might be just able to duplicate the shine if I could do this right. Steel metal for the occlusion. Okay, that's what's creating the rivets right there. Okay, it's the normal map, which is fine. So I might be able to, okay, okay. Here's what I gotta do. I'm going to take and copy this again. But over here, two seconds, diff spec add environment. Okay, so I'm going to now make this Chrome. Oh, wait, 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 before I do that. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to my notepad and paste it just so that I don't lose it from my clipboard. Okay. Now. Let's assign this to the Chrome 001, which makes us lose that. But if I add a TSN UV on UV1 and throw that path in there it is we got our chrome with the rivets back bingo well love it when a good plan comes together mate also there's a little bit of a gap it looks like it looks like my door didn't come forward Far enough. Yeah, I gotta bring I gotta bring everything forward as far as my door goes. Which means I'm probably gonna have to bring the bumper forward too. So we're gonna grab Fade Bumper, Fade Bumper 1. Whoa, 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 ho, ho. Hey, stop that. I hit shift instead of control. Door de 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 door and damn it. All right, let's try that again. The door, 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 the door. I'm gonna have to move the license plate separately. I'm not gonna fuck with her right now. All right. So we're just gonna grab it on a Y and move it ever so gently. Right there. Yep. That looks good. That looks much better. Now we've taken care of that gap. All right, so control A, all transforms, which did it do it to all pieces? Yes, it did, so we are good. Now I gotta grab those rivets that are on the license plate and the license plate itself. Also, you know what, actually, it's fine. We'll leave it. So, HP 
piece of my grab in here. Okay, those are the old decals, and it looks like it's not grabbing anything else. Let's actually get rid of those. Let's get rid of that. That's the reflectives on that. We'll get rid of it. There we go. That's better. And then on AO6, now I got to bring the AO textures over, but I've got to basically do some adjusting to the lighting. Okay, so I'm gonna take these lights. Whoops, whoa, not the marker lights. We're gonna delete these. And I'm also gonna delete this light as well. Okay, then I'm going to grab this light. And we're gonna adjust it. on here as well. I was like, I'm gonna edit the AO, but then I'm like, you know what? Let's just make the lights match. There it is. Look at that. That actually came out pretty decent. I guess I can adjust my sticker accordingly then, huh?
There we go. And fixed. Okay. Oh, Chief says good morning. Hey, Chief, good, good. <laughs> Me no speak English. <laughs> good morning, there, Chief. officially have a utility barrier door on our trailer and a utility bumper uh now <laughs> the chassis doesn't match but i don't want to take the chassis from the original trailer to the trailer model from that other 3d model because again it's such a high poly model i'm getting away with using the bumper to doors i think but if i go any further than this i think i risk um ruining the performance of the trailer i want to keep this trailer on par with the uh i want to keep this trailer on par with the uh the the performance of the game so now this roof ah uh, man we're gonna leave it the regular aluminum metal so that's gonna stay as is but looks like by changing the frame out, yeah, we managed to get the whole frame to look that nice chrome. I kinda, I kinda wanna make this black here on these parts. So Colby, good morning, welcome to the stream. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make. I'm going to leave the tank alone too as far as texture. Yeah, we'll just leave the tank. It's so underneath there. People don't really notice it anyway. It looks okay. Uh, but I want to make this just. Just a little bit black. So there's uh, chassis.tobj. Okay. Now I don't want to override any textures again, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take the chassis uh, DDS file. We can close this when we're done with it. And I'm going to j immediately rename this to Chassis 3000R Targa. Okay. And then what I need to do is I'm going to take these light parts and we're going to darken them. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to create a new layer. And I'm just gonna cut it. Whoops. Apparently, I'm not coordinated. I'm just gonna make a big black splotch over these uh, white parts here. Now, uh, I'm gonna be cleaning that up, of course, but what I need to do lighten screen, colored arch, lighten your arch, overlay, soft light, hard light. I know there's one where I can. And let's actually make it m not a flat, flat black, but I want to make it more of a gray. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. All right. 
let's try this again. I think by having it black black it was too much for it before. There we go. Multiply. We use that. Alright, so. Now what I'm going to do is delete. And then come in here and I'm just going to get my brush a little smaller and then we can precision paint over this stuff a little better. That uh, first blob I did was more of a uh, let's just figure out the layer uh, the science behind the coloring. I don't know what I'm saying. Just roll with it. Just act like I know what I'm doing, okay? Can I change this to a square brush? I think I can. Pretty sure I have a square brush. I do not. Really? Well, well yeah, fine then. We'll go with option B. I'll just draw a box around this. And just brush that in. More than one way to skin a human. Actually, there's a lot of ways to skin a human. If you guys want me to, I could go over all the different various ways you can skin a human being. But, I'm not liable for anything you guys do with that information. That one's not pretty, but uh, these are the cross members underneath, so I'm not really worried about being petty pretty, as it were. Um, I want the entire underneath to be black as well. That's this part here, so we'll just kind of nail that along with this. Uh, we're going to leave that alone. That's a uh, part there, so... Go ahead and do this. And last but not least, the details on uh, the cross members. Um, Colby says, I'm drinking white hot chocolate. How do I add the peat next gen? How do you add the peat next gen? Um, I'm not understanding what you're asking there, honestly. Uh, like, how do you add a mod? I mean, I, well, I know you know how to add a mod because you've talked to me about the trucks you drive before, so I'm not sure what, where. I think you'll have to re, rephrase it, give me a little bit of context for that. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So I'm gonna assign it to our new chassis file. Oh, that looks good. It honestly looks very good. Let's create the TOBJ for that. Is this using the same one? It kind of is. Um, so I need to create a lighter texture because I don't want to overdo the black on the landing gear. Let's do another layer and then I'm going to do a 75% opacity so that this next part isn't as... Um, 
as harsh. See what I'm doing there? Where the hell are the landing gear at though? Is that in there? Oh shit. And there should be a multiply as well. There we go. I really don't know where the landing gear are, are on this, so I'm gonna have to guess take a lucky take a lucky gander at it. I'm pretty sure this part I just went over is the gear handle. Actually, I know how I could do this easier. So I'm gonna take those parts I just made, do a select inverse and a paint bucket. Let's just do the whole thing. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. Yes. All right. Sometimes it takes just a little edit and a layer here and there. And the trick is, like I said, we use the multiply. So you see how we maintain the detail, but we just darkened it. That is beautiful. Oh, man. Squawk, squawk, oh yeah. So boom, baby. All right. Uh, guys, I think we're ready to start separating this and making the parts out of it. I believe we're done assembling the physical trailer. Oh, no, 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 we're not. We. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to do the lens flares on the lights. So, we got to come back to the door. Uh, oh, it's part of the body, I bet. Yeah. Just gotta grab these and make them visible. There's that one. Okay. Bingo. Okay, so we could take care of these right now. This one, center it. I don't know why sometimes if the mouse cursor hits the edge, it does that crazy, oh, let's go a, go a mile out of your way type thing here. And then 
now what I got to do is actually bring them back a bit because they're kind of buried under the texture there. So this one will grab them on the Y axis and bring it out. They should, the lens players should be like just barely a pixel or two in front of the thing. So there it is. All right. Now, I'm going to be adding to this because on these utility trailers, brake lights and blinkers are also up here as well. We're going to make the center three brake lights and we're going to make the outer two blinkers. Let's get all the lens flares. Oh, we got to do the bumpers. Oh, no. I didn't put the bumpers in. Okay. Well, I have to put the bumpers on here too. But <clears throat> let's get these lens flares done first since we're kind of on that particular roll. Uh, oh, I have to go down to here for that. Okay, real light. Out which one we've got here. That's not one of No, that's that's Okay, there's blinkers. Okay. So, I'm gonna take that. And I'm just gonna move it way off to the side there. So it's out of the way. Our blinker. Stop that. I just want to grab it. I don't want to delete it. There we go. Okay. Brake light again. So. Go. Okay. So what's the difference between no LGH? They got a They got one with no L no LGH. No What the hell is that there? I'm actually very curious. Our blinker. Oh, blinker. So six, seven, eight, and nine is all I'm working with for making these go. Lights gone wild. I don't know what that no. Uh, no LGH. 
I'm gonna Google that. So, uh, ATS rear light, no L, what? No LG. I already forgot. No LGH. make a truck simulator because it's coming up with like actual real world light bulbs actually I need to put no LGH in quotes. I need something that specifically mentions this. No, I do not need to show results for rear light long. I didn't misspell anything. Oh wow, there's nothing on the web with no LGH. All right, I guess we're winging it. Holy smokes. Let's put this browser back down here, ready for something else if we need. All right, I guess when all else fails, I'll just duplicate them both over each other. Screw it. I, I don't know what no LGH means. I don't even think I need those, honestly. Because all I need is the rear lights. Our rear L is a tail light so I'm actually you know what I'm just gonna delete the ones that say no LGH I mean if we end up with problems what's the worst that can happen right we can import them again so I'll delete that as well and then what I'm gonna do Okay. Now I'm gonna shift D on this. Shift D. I'm gonna take, oops. Take these two. Put them up here. Okay. Duplicate those. So I just did there. So now I can take these. Drag them to the next light. I'll just keep repeating this process until I get these tail lights all the way across. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to shift D just one of these. And bring it up here. Oh, I forgot I already had lights up here. Oh yeah, that was on uh, the, the body thing. So, I'm actually just going to delete that. Okay. Uh, right, so we need to go back up there. Okay, so I'll worry about that separately then. Um... So now I have the left blinker. Now on this, to make things easier, I'm going to make these lights invisible. Because they hurt so in a way. But anyway, on this one, I'm going to just put these around the uh, outer circle. The center is just going to stay tail light. Actually, yeah. And by the way, these are just going to go on the outside. The inner two are brake lights. So we're going to be putting the brake lights there. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Okay, oh, and I don't need to duplicate those because that's left blinker, so those are already done. So now we're going to take the right blinker, there it is. There is the right blinker. All right, gonna make those invis. And then we have brake lights. I only need one brake light to model off of, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the other one. Because then we could just duplicate the whole assembly. What's it? Nah.
Right on. Now I can take these. Move them to this light. Duplicate again. And we have brake lights. Nice bright brake lights. Now I need to, I gotta take uh, the brake lights. And this last brake light that I just did, we're gonna parent it to the door up here. You know, I just came up with an ingenious idea. I'm actually going to delete that. Kind of doing things the hard way, I think, right now. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. I'm just going to duplicate this lens player right here, and then we're just going to turn it into a uh, left blinker. So, player, vehicle, left blinker light. Then, we're gonna take the right one. I'm gonna duplicate it and turn it into the right blinker light. And we're gonna take these middle guys. I'll just take one and we're gonna turn it into a brake light. I'm gonna take that one and just duplicate it over these three center areas. Just because it's easier for me to do that than I'd be dicking around in that list over there on the right. And there it is. Ha! Okay, now our lens flares should, in theory, be good. Now, when you get a lot of lens players, it tends to jack with the game a little bit. So I'm thinking about coming back down here to where we're, what we were doing before. And actually taking out all the duplicates that I did on uh, the tail lights, Only the blinkers and the brakes. But I think I, I think the tail lights can come down to just one.
Okay. So, the taillights will just stay normal, but the blinkers will be nice and high-vis, and so should the uh, brake lights. So, brake lights and bl brake lights and blinkers. High-vis. Taillights are just going to, you know, do whatever. I never got an answer from Colby. I don't know if he left. Uh, he was asking about how to install Pete next gen. I was trying to ask what he was talking about. But, okay. Um... If he is still around, though, I mean, just uh, let me know what you're trying to refer to there so that I can help you. Oh, you know what? I also want to pin something else. Oh, ah, I just need it. I think, uh, I think I might have jacked up at the bumper's placement a little bit here. I think I'm missing a piece because the height I know is correct because we lined it up with the lights but forward and back was uh, jacking up here. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't seem that noticeable unless you're like putting your face right into it though so maybe it's just me losing my damn mind all right well Alright, so lens flares are good. Uh, Alright, let's run a final check of everything before we start separating this and bringing it into game. So, advanced coupling, we did nothing. We're air cable, air cable, the body we did, and we need to check as it collisions will be just fine. So, decal 3. We are good on pathing. Basically on this one, I'm uh, checking two things, pathing and the transforms. I'm just gonna flip through here 
first on the transforms. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that on all these, when I click them, these say zero and one. They look good in that regard. So let's check the texturing. Uh, this refresh being red is no big deal. Uh, what I want to make sure is that the path name is not red. And as I go through different things, it's going to move around a little bit on me, but we could still see it. Yeah, looks good. Great. Um, on the chess EFL, that's this is the sticker on the side of the side skirt. Transform looks good, and the texture looks good. Same thing with the decal on the other side. Oh, see, we forgot to apply the transforms on this one. Fixed. This is why we run these checks. All right, so decals here. Let's make sure all transforms are good. And the textures are still passed properly. Beautiful. Moving down to the front of the trailer. Always throws me off when I get to a shadow on the... And check the transforms. Awesome. These are, oh, you know what? These are nodes, so I actually don't want to be. Hey there, Ilya. Welcome, welcome. Okay. All right. I am doing good. Making some progress. Slowly, but surely. All right. Okay, so those are good. Checking textures. Scroll this down just to touch. And textures check out. Moving on to the bumper. Up, oh, see? So, this is part of what I'm running these checks for. See how this texture is in red? So, I need to bring the aluminum AO4 over, looks like from the other folder. I'm doing this on another monitor, that's why you're not seeing anything at the moment. Okay, what one was I looking for? Uh, aluminum A04. crack this open in my editor here and then I'm just going to do a simple save as and convert it to a Targa 
That's literally all I need to do. Um, I also have this aluminum AO here. Convert that to a Targa and do my thing there. Okay, now back in Blender, we're looking for AO4, so let's navigate. and create a TOPJ for that bad boy. And that is fixed. Same thing here. Uh, this one's looking for AO2. Save as, Targa. Good to go. Let's close these. Okay. Navigate to that AO2. And create a TOBJ. All right, tail lights are good. Uh, markers are just markers, so we'll just make those invisible actually. All right, now we need to check transforms. Up, oh, yep, see we didn't apply to transform on this one. And apply to transform on any of this stuff. So all that moving around I did on the regular buffer. Oh, you know what? We're also missing something else back here too. We forgot to put the reflectors on the bumper down here. I wonder if I could just snag. Oh. Okay. Am I on the reflect? Urgh. I gotta scroll around and figure out where I'm at on this now. Give me a second here. Here we go. Fay reflectors one. Is this the reflective? DOT tape. So I'm gonna take both of these. And then I'm gonna parent the duplicates to simple. There's a reason to all this madness. All right. I'll select that delete the rest and then on this one select all but unselect this delete the rest so I did that now I'm down to just these two bad boys gonna do it one at a time script all right so I'm gonna GY Beautiful. All right.
Now let's grab the uh, other piece. And there it is. So now we're going to go into Tuda mode. Tuda meaning 2D. And then I'm going to shift D, enter. And we're just going to copy this on the X axis all the way across. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two faces here and get rid of those. Oh yeah. Awesome. Now I'm going to have to finagle it a little bit. Looks like so. Let's put it right here. I should have it on the bumper, both sides. Perfect! Ah, oh, that looks so good. And that was so easy, even a Swift driver could have probably done it. Ilya says, hopefully I can get my trailer exported today. Yeah, it still hasn't figured out his trailer. Oh, man. Still getting those errors on the uh, export, I take it? All right, so now you probably see what I'm doing is I've got to duplicate the reflective on it as well. But now that I've already placed the other bits, this will be a lot easier. And also, just like that last one, I'll just take these last two faces and ditch them. And now we have our bumper reflector all nice and neat. Awesome. Actually, I'm getting Z fighting here. Let's 
grab this on the Y and just bring it out just a bit. Right. Oh, I think it's the other one. There we go. That flickering is now gone, so we are good to go on that. All right. Ta-da, ladies and gentlemen. Tough freaking duh. Apply those transforms, make sure they're good. There it is. Man, that's a... Uh, that's looking good. Okay. I gotta remember where I left off of my checks. We had just done. Pretty sure we. Oh man. Yeah, I didn't those. We did king. We skipped over auto markers. We did these. That's right. It was while I was checking the bumper that I realized. So let's uh, let's just run a check on a bumper again. So texture check, and again we're looking for red paths. And I will check chat regularly. I'm just uh, really wanting to get these checks done here. Okay, so textures look good. Now let's check the transforms, and they are great. Moving on, the mud flaps, the transforms are good. The textures. Are good, all right. On the chrome textures. Up. Looks like I need to bring my textures for these doors over from the other directory. So aluminum A03. Doesn't look like I brought that over yet. So let's do a copy and a paste. Go over to Photoshop. Bring all three in here. Just do a save as a Targa. Close it. Uh, delete the DDS I did and navigate to it. It was all three, right? Yeah, all three. And create the thing. Looks like AO2 I didn't create a target for. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did. Two, three. Yeah, I did. Okay. Or Targa, T-O-B-J is what I was trying to say. All right, this one is using Chrome Flat. Okay. Chrome Flat is, unless there's something funky with the channel this is too big why would you make a solid color this big that's just a waste of performance so we're gonna also shrink it down i'm just gonna make it 64 by 64 because it's just a flat image and then i'm gonna save this as a targa and close it and get rid of it get rid of the dds Vehicle, trailer home, SES box, chrome flat. Create the TOBJ, and we're good. 
What are we looking for here? AO4. Seven. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. I was like, I don't see it. Targa and get to it. It took me all this time to realize that I was still using the directory for SCS box. Um, that's no bueno. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, God, how am I going to do this? I have no idea. I may end up going back and redoing this again, at least as far as paths go. Because... I need to take these custom textures and put them into their own folder. Because I don't need anything I'm doing here to be interfering with uh, what I'm doing, you know, with the, with the default trailer. Viking says, Faye, I'm so glad you're live. My blender is driving me nuts. Uh oh. Looks like it looks like Viking and Ilya are both having blender uh, woes. He's uh, this week. All right. Now we have aluminum mayo. I already know I have that one. Here it is. Bingo. Um, AO15? A lot of bakes in here. Aluminum AO15. Ilya says I have no idea what the issue is. Eesh. Yeah, and when you showed me those uh, screen grabs yesterday, I was at a complete loss. I have no idea. Okay, and uh, did I check the transforms? I better do that again, just to be sure. Up, oh, yep. Oh, 
And you know what? That ABS made me realize something. These decals are now floating because we... Oh, no. Tell me I didn't already delete the other... Oh, nope, I still have the original door. Good. All right. So we're going to snag a piece here as well uh, from the original door. Let's go Z, wireframe, tap, side, uh, side view, I guess. And I'm just going to take, for the most part, all of the door. Except for these pieces here and nuke them. And then I'm going to I don't think there's any rivets on this. So I'm just going to take these pieces and I'm going to assign them to my macro. All right, there's a couple of pieces here. Let's get rid of those. Uh, oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now what I want to know is why is my door coming out a slight bit lighter than the rest of the trailer's chrome? Um, the numbers match. Oh, oh no, they're both the same shade as far as the solidify. Huh. The only difference is one has a normal map and the other one doesn't. Uh... How weird. Uh, the fuse is 00737. 00737. So, what is the deal other than one has a normal map and the other one does it. Normal map should not affect uh, shade of the texture though. Uh, one way to find that out is if I got the UV from this. Take the end map off. See, that does not make a difference. That is so weird. All right, well, um, fuck, I don't know. I have no idea, guys. Well, I guess I'll just have to hope that in the game it's kind of close. It might be just a shade of... Oh, I wonder if it's just a shade of the actual AO. Hold on. What piece did I use here? Um, this is using just the aluminum targa. But if I open up any of the AOs... They're about the same. Huh? I don't know. I am clueless. I'm moving on.
I am, however, going to go into side view. I'm gonna go to wireframe and we're gonna grab this, whoops. We're gonna grab this vert here. Both of them. And we're gonna How's that look? There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Doesn't have that like triangular intersect. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. So, all right, we got the lens flares, we got the transforms, we've got lights, camera, action. Now we need to give these guys unique names. Uh, this is what's going to separate it and make it not collide with parts in the game. So I'm going to scroll all the way back up. We're just going to start from the top. I guess I could have started from the bottom, but um, so the CH53M, that's my chassis. I've already given that a unique name. So we are good to go there. Uh, box 53. We're going to call box 3000R. Uh, let's see, chassis. Oh, you know what? I screwed up on this decal, guys. This is a simple fix, though. We just need to change the parent to the paint 53 L hole. Uh, the placement is the same because it's off the same node, so we're good there. So that that should be good. Um, we're gonna call this paint. Three thousand R hole. Welcome back, Viking. And then I think I did the same thing here. Yep, I need to parent this to the regular paint fifty three, which is uh the sticker on this here and we're gonna call this paint 3000 R okay uh, these are oh wait these are directly to the chassis that's fine King, we're going to call it just 3000 R. Uh, I'll call it 3000 R underscore King. There we go. Eh, yeah, that work. We need to put a custom reefer on here. But let's take this in baby steps, guys. I'm going to see if I could get this trailer going. And then I'll worry about doing like custom reefers and stuff. So let's, let's, get, let's get at least one trailer out with a default reefer first. And then we'll start going nuts on reefers. Alright, so the 3000 are king. Ah, yeah. Uh, markers. We're gonna name, instead of marker 50. Uh, we're gonna name it marker 3000 R. There we go. Oops. These are all on the chassis. Uh, uh, yes, the simple bumper 
is going to be the 3000 art bumper. Uh, mud flaps. Mud flaps are going to be 3000 R. The door is going to be 3000 R. Why is it doing dot zero zero two? Come on. Fine. Door three thousand R. Flap three thousand R. Happy now? Crack it. Bumper three thousand R. Anything else I just named 3000R? Because I forgot about the auto naming bit. <laughs> no, looks like we're good. Shadow skits. Okay. The kit bashing is done. Now starts the. Oh, first starts to stretch. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Viking says, Faye, I need your help. Ask away. I don't know if I'll have an answer, but ask away. Uh, when I try to export or pack the project, it gives me a key error to a shader with loads of paths to LOSCS tools. I installed everything accordingly to your tutorial. Uh, hmm. I don't know anything about key errors. I've never seen anything called a key error. Key error to a shader. Loads of paths to IOSCS tools. Huh. I. So for both you and Ilya, I think the best bet is if you guys take good screenshots of your errors. Which, Ilya, I know you did because you showed me last night. But Vi Viking, if you haven't already, take good screenshots of your errors. And go to the Blender Tools forum over on the SCS forums. Those guys are freaking genius. I, I am by far not a genius modder. I'm a beginner at best. So, the best bet would be to... Uh, post the screenshots and what's going on and the conditions what you're trying to do there and see if uh, anybody can help you over there because those guys like I mean a lot of the guys that hang out on that forum they're like freaking programmers and shit me I'm just a truck driver <laughs> <laughs> I ironic considering the game we're modding but uh, yeah I'm Ilya says, whatever I export, it's fine. When I pack the mod, it doesn't work. So, packing the mod not working. Um, well, we're going to be getting to that here shortly. So, maybe something I do when I start working with this stuff will uh, come to key. So, all right. Which brings me to, this trailer is ready to try and code in game, right? Except it's not. Because we have it all assembled. It's in one scene. We need to separate these parts. So, this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, I'm going to save the utility 3000R keep cash dot blend, and then I'm going to go save as utility 3000R, and I'm going to call it splitting because we're getting ready to split this all right now i'm gonna take all of my parts that i have in here the rear body uh 002 so the door 3000 r i'm gonna completely unparent it it's gonna end up flipping over here that's fine that's normal that's good we're okay uh, the flap. I'm going to unpair that. And the flap's going to end up here in a thing. 
Uh, so we got the door, the flap. Um, I need to take my bumper and unparent it. We're basically yanking everything off the nodes and separating it now. The markers, take them out. The 3000 R King, take them out. The paint 3000 R, take that out. Paint 3000 R hole, take that out. The box 3000 R, this gonna move the whole freaking thing to a nuts. So now, collection has this long line over here, and that's normal. What I'm looking at is I should have no more of the secondary dots here. None. Everything should be in its own thing. So if I collapse 3000 R King, I collapse 3000, uh, the box 3000 R, my bumper, and here's where everything was attached to. Everything was attached to a chassis. So I'm just taking one more look at the chassis. And the only thing that should be in here that I did are these decals and these pieces. But there should be nothing attached to any of, you know, the advanced coupling, the air cable, all that. Anything that's a node, I should not see an arrow by it. Meaning that I have successfully separated everything from the chassis. Let's collapse the door, collapse the flap, collapse the marker, and, <coughs> and collapse my side skirts. So now everything is separated out. So now I'm going to save and I'm confirming up here splitting. Yeah, so I've already saved it as splitting. Okay. Uh, now I need to sit here and think for a moment. Um, God. All right. So now what I got to do, whoops, I'm going to take and I'm going to, I'm going to collapse the chassis too, because we verified so here's our fucking trailer right here. All of our trailer. I'm going to take everything except the king. And I'm going to delete it. And it's going to take a moment because now it's like freaking the hell out. I actually did that wrong. Hold on one second. Um, I'm also making, oh, you know what? Let me do this on screen so that you can see it. I'm making a notepad file so that I can know what's going on here. So 3000 R King uh, box, 3000 R uh, bumper, 3000 R the CH53M, the door, 3000 R the flap, 3000 R marker, 3000 R paint R and then paint 3000 R on hole. Okay, this is a checklist now. This is going to be my checklist to kind of do things. Okay, I'm going to take the box 3000 R, delete the hierarchy. The bumper, delete the hierarchy. CH53, delete the hierarchy. I'm going to delete the hierarchy on everything here except for the 3000 king now 
on the 3000R King, I'm going to come to this little printer icon, Output Properties. And I got to choose an export path. So I'm going to choose an export path. It's going to be vehicle, trailer own, SES box, uh, accessory. I think it's under accessory. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that I think that it might be under accessory, maybe. Um, let's see. FL and FR, those are side skirts, body, markers, bumper, mud flap, rear body. Shit. Now I'm trying to think. Um, give me a second here. Chrome, pen, bumper, simple, marker 53 US. Ah, it's an F body. F body. Okay. And I'm going to select this directory. And you see how that's there? Now all I'm going to do, uh, and I'm not packing yet. I'm not doing anything with this down here. Uh, spill, oh, DMC says I spelt paint wrong on the last one. I did. Uh, it doesn't matter though. This is just my checklist. Um, I'm basically just using that to keep track of what I'm doing here. Because this, guys, what I'm about to do is going to get tedious. This is going to get annoying very quick. But this is the only way to do this. So, all right. So now I'm going to export. Uh-oh. Uh, all right. Let's take a look here. So that's something about a TOBJ not existing for one of my textures here. I wish I base 3000 DX assembly vehicle trailer trailer on SES box decals DDS used in TOBJ doesn't exist. Oh, because I went to a D. Uh, hold on. None of this should go to. I think I know what happened. We're looking for decals utility right here. Um, I need to actually go into this. Cause it was, uh, it was decals. Uh, we want to make this decals utility. There we go. And then decals TOBJ settings reading aborted. All right. So let me close that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the printer icon again and I'm going to hit export again. Ah, there we go. No errors. Okay. Now I'm going to open my splitting file again. I do not want to save this. No, do not save. Boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use the tab key and tab over a few times. Now I know that I have exported my 3000 King. Now you guys know what's going on. Now I get to freaking repeat this. Uh, DMC says, sorry, I didn't know if it was important. Huh? Yeah, I know. I get it. Yeah, no, this, uh, the notepad's just, I don't know. It's a thing. So now I'm going to come through and now I get to delete hierarchy on everything except the second item I'm going to export which is the box 3000 R. So there's this. And then on this, I've got to choose the export paths as vehicle trailer own SES box accessory. And this is going to be, uh, uh, I think it's F body. No, not F body. It's what am I doing here? Just the box. Oh, wait, wait, I went, I went too far. Derp, it's actually in the body, duh. Okay, so box 53, we're gonna select it. That is box 3000R, now let's hit export. Please don't come up with any errors. If you come up with errors, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry like a little child. Okay, I'm not. Ah, bunch of errors. You just want to see me. Oh, 
Now that's interesting. Okay, Fade Details 001. Let's take a look at that. Fade Details 001, and we're looking at this over here. Uh, has an unnormalized vertex color. Some vertices use 0 0.75294 instead of max 5. This is an easy fix. So you see this little green triangle that says object data properties? We're going to click on this and we're going to bring out this uh, vertex colors and see where it says uh, COL, COL alpha or whatever. Um, I'm literally just going to just delete those. And then I'm going to come back here and now it says vertex layers are missing. And I'm going to just add the vertex colors again. And then now if I look up here, see it created them again. So that should, I'm, I'm air quoting here. You can't see because my cam's not on, but that should take care of that. Here, I'll make it all dramatic. Air quotes. All right. So uh let's see fey reflectors looks like it's the same thing so is it fey reflectors or fey Re oh detail zero zero two so i gotta do that on all four days so i'm gonna delete these vertex colors of fey detail zero zero two fey reflectors and fey reflectors zero zero one then i'm gonna come back up the the details such as add vertex colors to all add vertex colors to all and add vertex colors to all now I'm going to just clear this and I'm going to come back up to my printer and export again. Those errors should be gone because now the updated um, SES tools should have made those vertex colors compliant. And see, there it is. We exported and it's done. So the box is done. So I'm going to go open reset and I'm going to open by splitting again. Don't save. <laughs> Because if you save, you're going to overwrite what you just did. Again, on my notepad file, I'm going to tap box 3000R. It's done. Next up is the bumper, it looks like. Yoya says, I wish mine would go this smooth. Well, I mean, I'm not out of the woods yet. I am way far from being out of the woods. All right, so now we're doing a bumper 3000R. So delete hierarchy, delete, 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 and delete. So now we just have the bumper. Uh, I've got to select the path for that. So vehicle, trailer, own, SES box, accessory, our bumper, select directory. Wait till it populates, hit export. Oh, holy son of a... Um, my lens flares are giving me issues. Okay. The hookup value. We have our hookups set up correctly, I think. Hookup library. Yeah, the hookup for the base directory is there. All right, let's start with the solid bit. Let's get these uh, vertex colors squared away first. Okay, so we have a uh, fade bumper. Vertex colors. And let's nuke them. Uh, bumper zero one and the reflectors as well. So again, just deleting the vertex, coming down to this. Uh, advert. Oh man, give me one second, guys. I I have a call coming in. It's my sweetie.
I apologize for that. Normally, I ignore my phone uh, when I'm streaming, but my sweetie, she's 45 miles away at work. And so if I get a call coming in from her, I always assume that it might be an accident or something. So I'm definitely going to take it. So I'm glad you guys understand all that. Now, Chief says that if you keep the blend file, so when you export, select selection only. And I'll, I'll show you this in a second. I know what he's talking about. Uh, it'll, you know, but make sure the root is visible and selectable. Yeah, basically, I, it's supposed to be... <laughs> I, yeah, and she just popped in here and was like, Sorry, guys. Nah, you were good. Um, yeah, Chief, I have tried that a few times. And there are times when it still, like, exports other stuff. And I don't know what's up with that. So I just out of habit of doing it this way. But uh, what he said... And I'll, I'll show you guys here in a minute. But uh, right now... What am I doing? Vertex colors. That's right. So add vertex colors, add vertex colors, and add vertex colors, and we should be good. The tail lights, it doesn't look like we had an issue with. So that's resolved. Now we have this model locator ML407 has unexpected hookup value flare dot vehicle dot rear light. Um that should be here flare dot vehicle dot rear light did they change it are that are they worded differently now flare blink flare model blue blink let's just do a search for R E A R L. Uh, flare vehicle, flare vehicle, rear light. Oh, they changed the naming structure a little bit. So you see how it has flare vehicle and a colon on the front? And the rest don't. So, okay. So here's what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy and paste and select these right down easy fix guys easy fix it's just that the parts i were using are outdated so now i have to bring them up the code oh 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 hold on uh now we're up to shit l blinker okay L blinker. Actually, I don't think we had any problems with that, did we? Oh yeah, I did. L blinker. All right, this next one should be right blinker. Yep, so we'll bring up the right blinker light. Copy that. Give me a second on chat, guys. I just don't want to lose track of where I'm clicking. I appreciate your patience. Uh, and now we're going into brake lights. Oh, I had some sort of semicolon on there. Okay, that's that's what was going on. I'm like, what's going on here? I was very tempted to make these LEDs, but I don't have any uh, custom lenses to put over them at the moment to make it look good. So, Now, when we get ready to export the other piece, uh, it's gonna give us similar problems too, but we'll be all right.
So this should resolve all this. This would have took a lot more time if I would have left those uh, tail lights in numbers like I was going to earlier, and then I decided against it because that would probably start to impact game performance. Because the more flares you have, I have found that flares are such a huge hit on frame rates sometimes. They they actually hit bigger than polygons in some of my cases. All right, now that I've gotten through all that, I'm gonna clear this and come back up here, hit export again. And uh, up, up, just one thing left was the license plate. And that's because it's out of date too. Uh, let me catch up on chat before I correct that. Okay, that was Chief 86. I already said that. Uh, Vikey says, Chief, you're familiar with Blender 2, right? Otto says, sorry, guys. All right, there we go. Now I caught up. Um, Chief says, for the most part, what do you need? And that's something I appreciate about you, Chief. Thank you for being so helpful to things that I don't have the answer to. Because there's a lot I do not have the answer to. Like I said, guys, I am a beginner at best. I might look like I kind of know what I'm doing right now, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. So Viking is asking Chief about the PIM, PIT, PMD. Very new to Blender. And Viking says, Auto, no need to be sorry. Family always comes first. Definitely. Definitely. That's, that's good values, guys. Uh, DMC edits. Did you rename the model... Oh, he's talking to Viking. I was like, rename the model? Uh, okay, actually the rest of this is... Okay, the rest of this is Chief and DMC helping Viking out. Thank you guys. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, uh, DMC, for helping Viking out. Because he asked me earlier about that and I, I was clueless. Alright, so the license plate... If I come back up... Where was I? Here. If I just search for plate and then select this, that should bring that up to code. Again, delete. Uh, go to the printer, hit export. Boom! Yeah! So now my bumper is done. Oh, but recent splitting, don't save. Uh, and now I'm going to go back to what Chief was talking about. So what Chief was saying is, uh, now I'm down to the chassis, right? And what he was saying is, if I go over to his printer and this active scene, if I change it to selection, theoretically, it's supposed to only export my selection with anything that's in its hierarchy. I have problems with that though off and on and it doesn't always do what I want it to do. So it's um, just to be safe what I what I do is I just make sure that what I'm exporting is the only thing left in Blender. Um, Chief says he's never had an issue with using selection only. Uh, forgot to mention you need to go to file export if you run into that problem. Yeah. So but we're we're going to be done with this pretty quick. So, I mean, I know this is taking a little bit longer doing it my way, but, uh, I mean, I could try. Let's see. CH53M. Let's go to selection. Oh, kind of have to. Vehicle, trailer, own, SES box, chassis. And we're going to select a chassis directory. So, and, uh, before I click this export, so this is how I'm supposed to have it, right? Chief, I have CH53M highlighted. I don't necessarily have to have, I don't have to do a control A or anything, select everything in the hierarchy, right? Just the root should export it. And then over here I have selection and export. I'm waiting on his answer before I hit this export button. I'm paranoid. 
<laughs> Chief says, no problem, Faye. Uh, CH53. All right, so I'm going to bring this folder up here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hit export. For, so selection, CH53M, export. And it did come up with some issues here. But let's come over here. Yeah, here's my CH53M. It worked that time. I think it only worked because Chief is here watching. Soon as I'm by myself, I'll have issues. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. So CH53M, uh, oh, vertex color stuff. All right, uh, piece one dot zero zero two. These aren't next to each other, so I'm just gonna do it one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and, <gasps> oh shit. I did not mean to do that. Uh, control Z, control Z, okay. Vertex colors, not the UV maps. Okay, and then let's come down here and just hit vertex colors to all. And now they're back. Alright, so that's piece 1.002. Then we have 10. Same thing. Delete, delete. Add vertex colors. And 12. Delete, delete. And add. Uh, we have a skid, looks like. Now that's interesting. Model locator skid has unexpected hookup. Back. Now I'm using the default chassis on this. Why? Why is the default stuff coming up? But okay, all right, whatever. Oh no! I think I duplicated the license plate on both the chassis and the bumper. Huh? <laughs> 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 Sorry, one second. I'm gonna mute. Oh, that that was a ninja sneeze too. That shit came out of nowhere. Alright. I do not need two rear license plates. So on the bumper, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna on the bumper, I'm gonna take. Ugh. You know what? I'll, I'll worry about it in game. I'm going to see if they even conflict with each other. If they don't conflict, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and by conflicting, I mean visually. Like, am I going to see the license plate twice or will one be hidden behind my bumper? Because if, here's my dilemma. I want the license plate to be where it's at on my bumper. But I also want the license plate to be... Um, uh, uh, how am I wording this? I want the license plate to be usable on the default trailer bodies because by chassis, what we're going to do is we're going to make this chassis, not just the 3000 R. All this is, is this is the default SCS chassis. And so it should fit any of the default bodies. It, the dry van, the insulated, the reefer, whatever. But what we did was we moved the tandems to the halfway point. I want that to be available for you guys to use on any of your trailers, even if you're not using the 3000R. So I will fix that later. But we're going to make it compliant, though. So what I need to do is come up here. We're just going to search for plate. And we're going to make it license plate rear for the hookup. Uh, the skid... Why, why does Skizart? Anyway, so I'm gonna copy this wheel particles. And then we're gonna bring it up, paste, and up. So wheel particles, there. It looks like that was all the errors. Let's clear, come back up to CH53M, printer, Selection. Let's collapse that. Uh, still have it a chassis. Export. No errors. Good. So we're done with the chassis 53M. Let me mark my notepad. 
Door 3000R. I'm not even going to export yet. Why? Because I already know. Oh, I don't know. Wait, where the hell? I thought it was on a door that I had those lenses. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's just do this. So, uh, let's go vehicle, trailer own, SES box. Uh, this one is going to be accessory, and then it should be our rear body. Select directory. Um, okay, so door 3000R, selection, export. Oh, we did have a few things, so let's take care of those. Door 3000R has normal unnormalized normalizations of my normal life. This is my life. Uh, door. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right. One, two, three. Oh, four didn't have it, but whatever. It won't harm it when we do this. We'll just do all the doors. Seven. I'm surprised eight and nine didn't have it for that matter. All right, now I gotta come back over here. Add vertex colors, add vertex, add vertex, add vertex. And by the way, I always select to all because that adds to everything on that selection. Six wasn't asking me to add it, so out of paranoia, I'm gonna go ahead and re revamp it. And seven we did, okay. Uh, object piece ABS, same thing. So we'll just uh, kill that off and add for text all. Okay. Select the 3000R, export. I forgot to get rid of those errors, but look, they disappeared on their own anyway, which means. Ah! Viking says Blender 293 in answer to Chief Fade 86. Ask what version of Blender he's using. Uh, 293 because Fade's tutorial said so. <laughs> yeah, well, that just happened to be the version I'm using in mine. And actually, hold on. What version am I using now? File, maybe? Splash screen. Uh, I'm using 293.8 on this. So. And you matched. Yeah, that's very important too, Viking. Uh, you, you always got to match the version that Converter Picks and Blender Tools and the Conversion Tools is for. Otherwise, you will have conflicts and things will not go your way. Ilya, now that I uh, now that we bring that up, that might be something that you want to check. Also, make sure that your versions of Converter Picks and SES Blender tools match up with the version of Blender that you're using. That might be a good question for you to toss in there too. Is uh, uh, what those versions are? All right, so Door Three Thousand R is R. Arr, it's exported, exported. <clears throat> anyway, let's just pretend that didn't happen. All right, flap 3000R. Let's figure that out. Vehicle, trailer, own, SES box, accessory, and that's butt flap. Select directory and selection. It's highlighted. Export. No, wait, what? What did it say? No game object to export because selection export is used and none of the selected objects belongs to any SCS game object. What? Uh, that one's new. Oh, I, I thought I had it selected. All right, we're good. And that one came up with no errors. Ah, that's always nice. 
All right, marker 3000R. Vehicle, trailer own, SES box, accessory, markers, select directory, and export. And holy mother of God. And I'm using SCS's flares here. But for some reason, I guess I have to bring them up to date in Blender. Did, did SC and, and I have the latest version of the game extracted for my imports. So, okay. <laughs> Let's fix this. Man, this is going to take a minute. It's going to take a long minute. All right, let's start with the object error. Object P00A, unnormalized vertex. No problem. We'll just come down here, get rid of those vertex, vertex colors, add vertex colors, that's fixed. Oh, now we gotta go back up to the top. So... And I gotta do this carefully because uh, these are different flares, and so I don't want to accidentally assign wrong flares to wrong things. So first we're going to deal with 100, 101, 102, and 103, which are going to be red lights. So 100, and I'm just going to make these all visible, which will help me kind of highlight which ones I'm working with. That way I don't accidentally go somewhere else. Uh, Chief 86 says, latest Blender tools fixed a lot of issues. I am using Blender 341 and Blender tools 2.4 without issues. Oh, you're on 3.4? I might have to try that. I know that when I upgraded to 2.9, it like changed the UI around quite a bit and it changed a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'll, uh, Chief, I'm going to try that too. I'm going to... Um, do that and what he's talking about the, uh, so there's two ways you can check your version the easiest way is if you look in the lower right hand corner down here see where mine says 293.8 where my cursor is that's the easiest way or you could do it the dumb way like I did earlier and just go splash screen and have it come up there uh, if you click the little icon up there you can bring up the splash screen which is actually Kind of handy if you want to quickly grab a recent files or a new file of a certain type or something like that. But yeah, it just says so down in the lower right though. 293A is what I'm using. I think one of my projects for one of these weekends when I get home, I'm going to go ahead and try 341. And uh, the latest Blender tools is... Oh, see how that turns out. Oh, wow. I was yawning. Okay. All right, so 100, 101, 102, 103 need to be red lights. Okay. Now, now I have more of these. Chief, if you get a chance, do you know what this no LGH is on rear lights? Because I had that come up earlier where I was trying to choose between rear light with no LGH or rear light by itself. I don't know what that no LGH is. But let's take the... Oops. Take the eyeballs off on this. And now I'm working with four, five, six seven and eight are going to be that whatever it is so four five six seven and eight notice it doesn't add a dot zero zero one in it i'm just working with these root ones I just don't understand what the no LGH is. I mean, the way I read that is like no light, which why would I want to have no light? But uh, no LGH. 
No. I mean, I'll just read it as Klingon. Noch. It's noch. That's what it says. Noch. All right. Cho. It chu. Don't laugh at me. I do speak Klingon. All right. 109 needs to be a right blinker. Left blinker. And now, all the way from 192 to 225. Needs to be the orange light. And you know what? I don't know why I'm going with this. All I have to do is really... Alright. So these are all going to be orange lights all the way down. Oh, this is as tedious as it gets, but fortunately, this is the only piece that has all these flares. You know, and I'm wondering if maybe because uh, now that I'm thinking about it, Remember, Chief, how I was saying earlier how export selection was giving me issues? I'm pretty sure that was on an older version of Blender 2. So it may have been just a glitch that I've had. And it's just working now, which it's just, I'll take it. I definitely, I'm definitely happy that that's working because it was giving me issues before. All right, on this one, the rest of these are off on the error message down here. And so how do you see those, right? Well, you see these arrows up here where it says SES Blender Tools, the down and up. You can actually scroll through the errors on this too. So if you guys ever get errors that scroll you know, off and you want to see the rest of them, these arrows up here are your key. Uh, but anyway, all the way through 235 is still the orange lights. And then I have to scroll up because it put the lower numbers uh, down there. So 88 through 99. These guys. And I'm also going to do some custom modeling as well, uh, eventually as an add-on for this trailer. I'm going to make an LED version of the lights too for this. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to collapse it, highlight the marker, come up here to the printer selection, and it is in the markers folder. 
And boom, there it is. Awesome. So the markers are done. Paint 3000R is the right. So it'll go into vehicle trailer own SES box accessory. So we have this uh, SC chassis front left and chassis front right. The no hole is on the right side. So we're gonna come into here and select this directory. And export selection. No errors. Oh, ho, ho. nice. All right. Now I need to go into FL. And export the hole. All right. Chief A6 says, Faye, you can select one player in a hookup, click the far right icon to select all similar and note which they are, fix one of them and select the next one, then the same icon, then the one you fixed. Uh, did I read that wrong? He's talking about back up here when I was messing with all these markers. All right, so I'll just use ML99 as an example. Select one flare in a hookup, click the far, whoops. Select locators with the same hookup. Oh! Okay, and this little magnifying glass Select all visible model. Okay, so they have to be visible. So. And what? That'll like fix them all at once if I do the copy paste on that? Why didn't I know that 10 minutes ago? Thanks for that, Chief. That is a that is a very handy damn shortcut. All right, I think we have everything exported. Right click in the hookup as select copy to select it. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna remember that. Okay, so. I have to think for a moment. So now we're at one last dilemma. Uh, I have to do some cleanup in the folder before I do any exporting. Alright, if I clean up, I need to get rid of the default models that we have. Alright, so see where I have the CH53R and the CH53F because I I was jacked with those ta uh, chassis. I don't need those. I just need my 53M. So we're just going to get rid of those. Now the textures and everything were shared, so we should be good there. Uh, same thing under body. I do not need the box 53 anymore. We just need the box 3000R. Then we're going to go to accessory. And we're going to do the same thing here. It is paint 53. Let's get rid of it. The chassis. Otherwise, when we go to uh, put our... When we go to pack our mod, all this crap will end up like... Um, duplicated. And that's just a waste of space. All right. Anyway, markers... So we'll get rid of the 53, the bumper, get rid of the default bumper here. Uh, the mud flap was the exclusive and rear body, we're getting rid of chrome. So now we should only have our trailer physically. 
I'm not really worried about textures because we brought all those in manually on our own. So we're going to be okay there. Although I'm very irritated with myself, guys, because I, I was going to put all the textures into their own custom folder. Uh, I was going to put my whole trailer into a custom folder for SCS box, and I didn't. So uh, I'm annoyed at myself over that, but... I don't foresee any conflicts because all of my decals that I've edited have unique names. So they should still not conflict with the default trailers or make anything appear weird. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna... Faye, if I recall, the no LGH is to not see the player at certain angles. Oh, hmm. maybe I should have done that on those taillights and I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll find out in the game, huh? So now my mod is ready for physical packing. And that's what we're going to attempt to do. I just don't know if it's gonna work. So now I'm gonna, uh, just to kind of save where we caught up as, um, I'm gonna save the splitting blend and then I'm gonna go ahead and save another copy and we're gonna, yeah, you know, of course you can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name this packaging and we're gonna go down and we're gonna get ready to pack this mod. So the first thing I gotta do, now this is part of, and, and Chief will have to let me know if in, uh, in the latest version, if they fix this, but you cannot use this, in the version that I'm using, I'm gonna be very specific here. In the version that I'm using for the directory, you can't use this folder because for some fucked up reason, it makes it relative and then it jacks up. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my modding workshop and I'm going to go to my ATS mod pack and I'm gonna create a folder for this bad boy. And we're gonna call this 3000R because, well, yeah. And then I'm just gonna copy this path and we're gonna bring it over here and I'm just gonna press enter. The second line is the name of the mod. I'm just going to call it 3000 R. There's no need to get all fancy or anything crazy, but yeah. All right. Now we could do this a few different ways. We could do it as a zip file or we could do it as a folder. Personally, I like to pack it as a folder because what I'm going to end up having to do is go right into that folder to start writing the definition files. The definition files, hey, look at the time. The definition files may be an episode all their own. I'm not sure, but yeah anyway i've got all three checked here we got convert export and clean so this is the part that always gets me the most because this is the step that i almost always have the biggest issues on but let's try let's oh there is something else i gotta do here too Because uh, I had all this stuff up here. Um, when you go to pack the mod, it's also going to do its own like little export thing. Unless we uncheck export. So I'm going to uncheck export. But just to be safe and just to keep me on a safety net, I went ahead and just prepped it in case it tried to do it anyway. So I've only got clean and convert here. I do not have export because we have already exported our assets. We do not need to do another export. If we had that checked, then all the stuff that I had over here would have tried to export to the one little folder here, and then we would have had a mess. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click pack mod, and this window is gonna come up. 
And this is where I hold my breath and wonder, oh, we got errors. We've already got errors. So this is not going to work. Um, I see what happened here. Uh, this decals DDS, I just need to get that out of the file. That's a simple fix. Let me just do that real quick. So I'm going to come over. It was a vehicle trailer on SES box decals DDS. Uh, I have a Targa for it too, but the decals DDS itself just needs to go away. Oh, I did make the decals DDS go away. The TOBJ was still there, and the TOBJ was looking for the DDS. So that's what created the issue. All right, next. Um, failed to open source texture object for decal 15. What the hell is decal 15? All right, so we have decal. That's a Targa. What's what's going on with it? Decal 15 looks fine. Oh, because it's saved as copy. Ah, god damn it. And that put a space in the TOBJ and in the path. That's that's no bueno. Uh, God, I got to figure out what that decal is and correct it now. All right, I'm not even going to bother with the rest of the errors right now. Let's get that fixed first. Uh, file. Okay, so. God damn it. I think it was in chassis. I'll try to see what label it is. It should be on a chassis because it's decal 15. And I don't know why that says copy there either. Let's get rid of the copy on that. Decal 15 copy. Okay. And... I just want to work with this right now. Okay, so we have decal 15. I'm gonna come down to the texture. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's here's the problem right here, is for some reason, Photoshop was being Photoshop. When I go to save as, and there's no freaking setting for it. Oh, I didn't want it to open in Photoshop. I just wanna change the damn file name. For some reason, Photoshop, when you go to save a copy, it puts copy on there which is retarded because then um, it puts a space in there and a TOBJ is in a file name. The file structure of ATS is not meant for that. So we're going to reselect this now that it doesn't have the dash copy or underscore copy on it. Uh, 15, right? Here it is. So 15, then I'll create the TOBJ, right? And let's try packing this here or exporting this was the chassis so we're gonna go vehicle trailer on SES box chassis select the directory and ex Oop. export no errors there 
But let's see what happens when we go back and try back the mod again. Now, every, nothing here changed, so I should be able to just hit pack mod. And now let's see what comes up. Oh, oh. <gasps> we did it. Here's the folder right here. We have the 3000 R. So now we have our automats. We have our material and uh, yeah. This really doesn't need to be here because it'll select a default, but we'll just vehicle share models. Okay, so trailer own. Nice. We have our files. They export it. So next. <laughs> you thought the tedious part was over, didn't you? Well, guess what? Now we get a code to definition files for this. And for that, I need to go to my fresh base folder. So I'm going to come up to... my ATS base and we're going to start using files for reference here. So let me put these down here. All right. Uh, we are done with Blender for the moment. So I'm going to close. I'm not going to save. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I'll just have to remember if I have to come back into Blender and work with those models again, I need to correct that texture for the chassis. But, whew. All right, so, again, remember when I made this checklist over here of these items? Well, now I'm gonna be using this checklist again. Because now I gotta use this to make sure that I write the definition files for all my parts. Actually, here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I could try to do this in a way that kind of gets everything on the screen for you guys. So I'm gonna put Notepad plus plus like so. Let's shorten these windows a bit here. I'm used to having multiple monitors, but for the purposes of the stream, I gotta have everything on one monitor so that you guys can see it. Vikings asking, uh, I do use the converter picks from GitHub, right? Because it says it's from 2020. I don't think much changed in the past two years, so that sounds right. Oh, it's been three years now, huh? Uh, I'll leave. I'll leave that to Chief or DMC to uh, answer for you. I don't even remember which, what year the one that I'm using was made. All right, so for the three thousand king. Well, first I need to create a def folder. So, and we need to start creating our directory. So we got def. Then we're going to be going into vehicle, new folder, vehicle. And then it's going to be trailer owned. When the file names start getting a little longer, I make too many typos for my own comfort. So I'll start copying and pasting the titles and then SES box. Uh, this is, I think, where I'm going to divert and I'm going to, yeah, I'm actually going to name this 3000 R because this is going to be our individual trailer. And now I'm just going to copy and paste all these files into here. I'll also grab the data file as well. Uh, let's come back up and traffic. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about traffic on this trailer at all. And add on hookups.
crap. Um, yeah, the real fun part is matching up all these. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I need a trailer storage for this or not. I think I do. Uh, trailer storage. That's Halloween, Valentine's, Christmas, and then the default. Vikings says that's a lot of SII files for my wheel. There's only one needed, so I think I'll stay with the tiny mods. Yeah, for accessories that attach to stuff, yeah. But honestly, I still recommend always like giving um giving this a try. I'm gonna go uh dot three thousand R here. And then we're gonna come in and Yeah, because these are, wait, cam tank, dry bulk, fuel tank, drop deck, dumper, livestock, low boy, grain hopper, food tank, frack tank, magnitude, bulk feet, grain hopper, car cargo, low boy, ship van gooseneck, log, okay. And there's our reefer. So that's what I want to kind of use as a model. So now I just get rid of the rest of this crap. Without getting rid of the opening bracket, because that's bad form. Uh, we're not going to have a 28 or 45 or whatever. And then we have the at the three axle we're not gonna have a double or a triple not gonna have a rocky mountain double so it really comes down to just one and then so i'm gonna do we'll do it as uh i'll just have an sui just 3000 r Okay. This requires a chassis, the paint job, color SII. And it's just going to be vehicle dot 3000 R. B double, double, Rocky Mountain double, single up to 45 to 48. Those can all go bye bye. Uh, 53, 3, 4, 4, S, F, and R. We're going to make a single. Why are there. Oh. We're going to make a 53M. This. On the chassis work that I'm about to do here is where I'm going to make this uh, mid tandem playable for all trailers. So we're going to do this one slightly differently. So now we're down to just a one chassis. Let's configure this. So uh, this is going to be 53M. And we're going to get rid of this asterisk weird stuff. And this is going to be um, mid place tandem. I'll just call it that. Uh, chain type is single because we're not doing doubles or hitches or anything with this. Um, the icon is chassis SES box single 53F. I'm just going to leave the icon for right now. Uh, equivalency 
Oh god, what is equivalency? Shit. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna direct it to 53MSII. I'm gonna leave the equivalency alone. I don't think I changed that the last time I did this. So now we're gonna come into... We got dry van insulated and reefer. So dry van. Configurations, single 53M. Trailer def SES box, single 53 F. We're gonna change that to M dry van. The insulated, same thing. Reefer, same thing. And then now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the reefer, and we're gonna name this one 3000R, and we're gonna create a configuration for it. So 3000R. Oh wait, that's just the icon. We can leave that at reefer. Browser closed, Firefox is closed. Don't really care, clean it and go away. All right, trailer definition. This does need to be changed. And by the way, I'm gonna kill off these other files I have over here. That way we're just working with what we got open. Um body def vehicle trailer on scs okay hold on def vehicle trailer owned 3000 r body and we're gonna duplicate the reefer 53 and make it 3000 r And since we did that, let's get rid of the rest of these since that's no longer a factor in the mod. And let's bring up the, the uh, 3000R. So, SES box is going to become 3000R. So, reefer 53, 3000R body. Okay. Okay, the utility 3000R, uh, price. That's a good question. I should type the MSRP. <laughs> Here's a 2023. How much is this bad boy going for? Call for price? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I hate when they do that. Like, just tell me how much the trailer is. It's a trailer, not a truck. That's a, jeez, that's a 2013, 2015, 10, 15. Come on, tell me you have something in the 20s. Oh, 2024. Utility 3000 R. Call for price. Suck it, dude. Oh. All right. 2002, 2008, 20, uh, all the ones that are in the 2020s, it's like call for price, like, or just put it on here. Jackrabbit, motherfucker. Of course, the manufacturer's website is just gonna have all the fluff. Jesus. 
yeah pretty much Viking I want anything 2020 or newer and I want utility 3000 R all right so here's a 2021 for 85 9 Another 21, uh, 21 for 79, 22 for 89, nine. We'll go with this one. Um, now this one's used too. So obviously a little bit of price has been knocked off of it. So I'm just going to make it an even 90,000. So we're going to change this from 70,000 to 90,000 uh, Unlock I'm gonna let you unlock it at level one The icon will lead a reefer. That's fine Okay, these are all just notes. So I'm not gonna mess with these uh, The size is pretty much the same as the default reefer. So we're not gonna mess with that for the total size We'll leave that alone as well the volume uh, We're gonna leave that alone the body type it is refrigerated. So we'll leave that alone uh, mass is 2,200 pounds. What I'm looking for on the real world websites is something that we call tear weight. T-A-R-E weight. So if you're ever... Uh, Blah. If you're ever curious about what an empty semi-trailer of a particular maker model uh, weighs, then one thing you could do is come over here to Google Utility 3000 R Tear Weight. Okay, and it'll come up. It should give you, you know, rough bits. Actually, when I'm looking over here, I'm just like sitting here kind of scratching my head. Cause it's like mass 2,200 pounds. <laughs> There's not a semi trailer in the world that weighs only 2,200 pounds. So let's see. Base mass for dry van trailer is in chassis. Bodies have only deltas to dry van mass. Oh, so this is just the chassis. And then the box, I guess they have another line for the adds on. Huh. You know what? Let's just play it better safe than sorry. Let's just leave that alone. I might come back to that later. All right. So the model. All right. Is... The model for this is going to be vehicle, trailer, on SES box. Okay, so let's bring our folders back up so I can work with this. Box, body, and it's box three, thousand are I'm just doing a copy paste for my other monitor over here so the PMD and the PMC so there's the box model it's gonna use okay then we have vehicle trailer all box accessory okay so now we have defaults and this is where uh, we gotta make sure that all of our trailer uses 3000 R parts so the markers 3000 eyes so now we gotta come back out here um def vehicle trailer owned 
uh, scs.box. Oh, by the way, I gotta change scs.box to 3000R. Normally, I would do a uh, find and replace, but there was only like three lines, so by the time I do the find and replace, I had it done anyway. Uh, accessory markers. Oh, I already had it copied over. So we're going to take the box 53 US dot SII and just title that 3000 R. Then we're going to come into this and instead of SES box, it's going to be 3000 R. So we're going to call it 3000 R, 3000 R markers. The name, 3000R. Price, uh, I'll just leave that alone. Unlock, level one. Icon, we'll leave that alone. Exterior model is going to be accessory markers. Uh, Marker 3000R. Save. Oh, and what is this suitable for? It's going to be suitable for just our body, which um, now I got to come out here and go to body 3000R. So I'm going to make it suitable for only the reefer. Uh, fifty-three body, and we're gonna take these off because these markers are only going to the three thousand R, and boom. And then down here we have three thousand R accessories markers, and then. 3000R.SII. So now the markers are assigned. I I hope. <laughs> kind of kind of paranoid actually. Okay. Now we're gonna do the cooler. Left body. So we have the cooler and the king and all that. Um, we want for right now to get rid of everything but the king. Because this is the one we did. So king dot 3000 R dot front body. Okay. I'm going to close that and rename this as well. And I'm going to call it 3000R underscore TK for Thermo King. I'm going to lay the prices alone and all that jazz on this. Uh, the PMD for this was the 3000 R King PMD and PMC. What is this suitable for? You guessed it, the 53 foot body, which
again, I believe I have this as, there we go. Okay, so now the reefer should in theory be set up. All right, so accessory, F body, and now, whoops. This will go to the 3000 RTK. So now the 3000 RTK is assigned to this chassis. Uh, defaults. So oh, now we're looking at the door. Which is rear body. And we're looking at the chrome. which is also going to be named 3000R. This is the most tedious freaking part. It's getting all this crap. And then back to our body for the 3000R. I'm just catching up on chat. Give me two seconds here. <laughs> Vikey says, honestly, as a non-trucker, I expect the prices around 20 to 30k for a new trailer. Ah, oh, we could only wish. That's how much they were going for just five or six years ago. Then COVID hit. And now everybody just wants freaking stupid prices for everything. Don't even get me started on what's going on with our economy under the current leadership. Uh, PIT, PIM, PIC, if you have a collision, almost all sounds like you have a PMG, PMD in the project folder. Oh man, still. Oh, okay, okay. That was uh, Chief replying to Viking. Got it. Getting conversations crossed. Chief 86 says they use kilograms. Oh, and that's looking at the weights. So yeah, I was looking at that, but they have 998 kilograms, which translates to, and they put a pound sign here and they translated it to 220 pounds, which let's confirm that. So, uh, 998. Yeah, that's 2,200 pounds. So, I don't know. <laughs> But again, I believe it's chassis only. I, I think that's what we discovered. Oh, let's close Photoshop because we're done with it too.
Okay, I'm going to name the door the 3000 R barrier door because that's what it is. It's kind of one of their things. Uh, we did the 3000 R 3000 R rear body. I'll save that and kill it off. And then as a result of that, Three thousand R. Dot SII. Okay. I can actually take variants. Off. Oh, I forgot to delete the looks. I think from. Oh, well, I'll leave it alone for right now. Uh, require F body. Okay. So we did data and then we did off of configurations. I did this 3000 R. chassis front left front right all right i will be right back guys i just need a quick restroom break it'll take me like less time than it'll take to unstick the cord from my pant leg oh no oh oh this sucks <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, this really so. <laughs> so, I wear these cargo pants for um, work, and I carry a Leatherman tool, and it's a vice grip. Well, I carry this as well. It's a Leatherman multi tool, but I also carry a version that's vice grips. And the vice grips on the end have this screw. Apparently, I've had it in my pocket for so long, it wore a hole and was about to fall out. Oh, that would have been an expensive loss. These things are worth it though. Every trucker should have a Leatherman tool. If not, they're just not a real, they're not a real trucker. It's not a thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's been yeah i've been on the stream so long it was the cord that grew into my leg no it was the freaking multi-tool and because the multi-tool was sticking out right this little screw came out here and it the cord got wrapped on it and so when i got up uh when i got up it the thing i don't know why i'm looking up there the camera's over here uh i just have a habit of looking toward where my preview is but yeah <laughs> All right, uh, give me just a couple moments. I will be right back, guys.
Hey, Faye, is your mic muted or you're just not talking? My mic was muted. Okay. Didn't miss much. I just started doing the uh, side skirt definitions. I'm just... Something about the naming convention and how I'm doing it up here is making me nervous. Should I have left the SCS box and just changed the 3000 uh, the, the starting point? I don't even know. I want to try something. God. You guys are going to hate me for this. You're really going to hate me for this. Um. I'm going to take SES box over here. And I'm going to name it U3000R. Now, I'm going to take I'm going to get rid of the unnecessary files. We're going to open those. Okay, front body. I think I'm just doing everything the hard way before so um, I'm basically just gonna come at this kind of from a different perspective I'm gonna worry about the file names later I'm not really worried about the, the... oh you know what I don't even want banners to be a thing on this so we're gonna get rid of banners I believe we based everything up the simp. Whoa! What just happened there? Jeez. I hit a macro key on my keyboard. Uh, mud flap. Where's the ex. Oh, uh, okay, it's these. Okay, now for the body, it's going to be three for 53. Chessy. This is going to make sense here in just a minute. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to empty out the P 
paint job folder because we're going to be uh, this is going to have a uh, custom paint scheme on it anyway. All right. Now, I'm going to do a control F and I'm going to do a replace. All right. We're going to do this in kind of steps here. Any instances of SES.box are going to change to U3000. Actually, let's. U3KR. And I'm going to replace all in all open documents. So anything that says uh, SES box is now replaced with that. Now, as far as the front part, anything in front of the UK uh, U3KR is just going to be replaced with by utility 3000R or with by just 3000 R. So we're going to go file and save all. What? Oh shit. Cause it was trying to save the one that I hadn't done yet. So now those are all saved actually. And I'm going to rename this actually let's I know there's a command for close all to write, but I was like, U3KR. So this is gonna be my U3KR trailer. All right. So now I can get these reopened up because I had to rename that folder and that would have messed with saving stuff. Honestly, just want to make these match accordingly. Uh, trailer dot UK three R cables will be fine. Uh, Chrome was actually door three thousand R. Oh, that's the markers. Let's see the one with the hole. I keep trying to think back and I thought there was like a limit to how many characters the first section could have. I can't remember. So I'm hoping that my naming convention is not going to give me an issue. That was king.
Okay, for these next two, I need the body. Chassis 53M. So the titles are done. Now I just have to go through all these and make them talk to each other. Vehicle.UK3R looks okay. Uh, trailer storage goes to Trailer 3000R SUI. So I need a uh, another folder here. This one. God, it's going to be such a pain in the ass, I can already tell. I think the definition files are probably going to take like a couple of days to do on episodes. <laughs> oh, now you do SCS underscore box. What? I've been live uh, a little over four hours. I guess I didn't make too bad of progress working on this for four hours. I'm going to go for about another hour probably, but we'll see. Let's get all the way over here to the beginning of everything. 
Pain 53 hole. Alright, so. SCS box, accessory, FL. All right, and what is this suitable for? This will be suitable for the King SII, which is the 3000R. UK3R. F body. Yep. Because that should only be for that. Alright. Good deal. Then I'm going to take this off, chop that off. This one is the Paint 3000R.PMD and it will be suitable for my mid chassis which is somewhere uh, here we go save okay Unlock this at level one. Unlock this at level one. I think we're good with the side skirts. We could actually close those files. Uh, the king here. Will be suitable for Box 3000 R. Dot UK 3 R dot body, I believe. Yep. Uh, the PMD for that. Is good. Icons good. Unlocked. Level 1. And we'll call this Dermo King. And I can close this file. Uh, my markers. Okay. Are using that PMD. Unlock those at level one. And they will be suitable for the reefer. Um, so for the body, okay. It looks like that's good. Let's close it. 
simple, which is the bumper. Goes to that model. Unlock level one. Oh, okay, it looks like it's fitting to the doors. All right. And a chassis. All right. I see what's going on here. All right, it'll be suitable for the M chassis. Actually. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then roll up simple. Cool. So what basically what I did different here by the way, is uh, I made it to where, because I, with the Utility 3000R, I do want us to be able to select um, the different chassis or whatever for this particular trailer. That way you could have your tandems forward if you want. You can have your tandems back if you want. You could go with the three axle, the four axle or whatever. Uh, my, my goal here is cross compatibility where possible with this project and to give you guys more options if possible. So since I'm using a default chassis, that's what I'm doing. Now my M chassis is custom painted though, so it's obviously gonna look a lot better with this trailer. But you guys, this leaves it up to your preferences. So we got that done. Mud flaps. Again, uh, they've got the multiple. Bits here, so I'm going to make these able to go on all the 53 foot chassis. And I shall add in the M chassis. All right, the exterior model. Goes there. And by the way, I'll call this Loves for the name of the mud flaps because I used the Loves mud flap on it. I might make more options later on, but for right now, I'm just sticking with that. All right, chrome. This would be the door, which is suitable for, of course, only the 53 reefer. Such a tedious task. Oh, and I'm gonna give it its custom name. Barrier door. 
Alright. Then we have trailer.sii, which. Whew, okay. Let's take a look at this here. Okay, so it looks like this is the trailer cables. Okay, this is uh, 45 foot and 28 foot stuff, so I'm gonna leave this out. Maybe. Hold on. What the hell is going on here? Uh, oh, okay. They just had a special bit for... BRNG for I think if I leave the cables alone, they're going to be okay. Well, let's just not mess with that. All right, reefer 53 SII, this is the body, um, which we're gonna come to the defaults of. Markers. Change the models. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to come in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take care of my file name on all the accessories real quick. And again, I'm going to leave trailer cables alone for now. All right, so now we can come back. This uh, F body will be going to this bad boy. And the rear body will 
go with this. All right, so again, change that price to 90,000, unlock at level one. Oh shit, did I do the unlocks on all my accessories? I think I did on some of them. Otherwise, that'll jack it up when you try to get this trailer early on. Okay, I didn't do it on all of them. That one, that one, that one, that one. I did do it on those, so. Okay, we're good. All right. The volume, body type, mass, variant reaper. Okay. Uh, the chassis for the mid, one lock at level one. <coughs> Oh shit, I'm gonna have to do custom shadows. Otherwise it's gonna look like there's like a couple of black spots like in front of the wheels. Ugh. Oh well. Um oh, that's a simple one to do though, so I'll deal with that. Like down the road here. Trailer brace model. Trailer brace, PMD, PMA. Just leave that alone. Okay. UI shadow. Mass. Okay, defaults. Paint job. Color SII. Which, yeah, we'll have a color SII on that. Uh, the rear mud flap, though, it's going to be flap 3000R. And the bumper, it's going to be bumper 3000R for the defaults. Okay, I think that's good. Data SII, vehicle.u3kr, info, brand. Uh, we'll put utility in there for the brand. And for the series and type, 3000R. 3000, not 300. Uh, fallback, paint job, color SII, and required chassis. Sure. Alright, trailer storage. 3000R SUI. Okay, then we get the 3000R SUI. And what do we got here? We got trailer depth, UK 3R, 3000R reefer. Uh, accessories.
Okay, where are you guys at? Oh, this is down here. So, all right, you're just referencing this. So we'll, I'll just do this the easy way then. We're gonna replace these with 3000 R, replace all. Okay. Uh, for the chassis, we are using Def Vehicle Trailer Three thousand R Rep fifty three M dot SII, which Oh, there's LOD models for this shit. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I think this is all for traffic crap, isn't it? I think this is all traffic. I think it is. Well, I guess uh, if I decide to really work this into traffic later on, I'll just create LOD models for it on my own. So just shadow textures, UI shadow, trailer mass. Yeah, I think that's all traffic that I was just doing. Uh, the R wheel, we'll just leave it. A, we'll leave the wheels alone. And paint job, we'll just leave that alone. Alright. Uh, sure. Trailer cables, again, we're leaving it alone. Wow. Uh, hmm. Okay. Ilya is asking, how do I fix texture can't display as TOBJ file? Texture can't display as TOBJ file? Uh, Chief? DMZ? Any, anybody? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that one. Texture can't display as TOBJ file. I don't know, uh, Ilya. Uh, hopefully one of the guys in here can nail that for you. All right, so let's see. We got definition files written. Technically, that should maybe work. And I believe we could select the color of the trailer I have not gotten to the point of getting a skin on this trailer yet. However, I think I want to see if we can get this working in the game first. So let's go to File Explorer. I'm going to bring up a, yet another window here. And let's go to my my mod folder for this. I'm gonna paste my mod in here. I'm gonna do my naming convention since it's a a, a dang it. Clumsy fingers. Fade 3000 R is what this one's gonna be called. I have a, a gut feeling this is not gonna work because 
I don't know. I just feel like I missed something entirely. So I guess we're about to do a lot of error log reading. But select launch option. Since when? All right, we're going to select always use this option and the hell do I want DirectX 11? Is it what, it, what is it by default? Is it 12? Does it use 12 or 10? I'm going to go with 11, I guess. That's weird. Usually this doesn't pop up for me unless something got re maybe something got reset. Maybe this is something I did a long time ago and I just don't remember. Uh, Ilya's saying use DirectX 11. I'll go with that. All right. So I'm going to go with, you know, I'll just leave it on my default profile. If my trailer can't work with other mods, then I've got problems. So we're going to add that right over there. And I'm going to put it, whoops, not all the way down. Just decrease the priority. We're going to put it down by my other stuff. We'll put it right there. Confirm changes. All right. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, what? Crazy's cabinet accessories. Did he take his down? Okay. Guess Crazy took his cabinet accessories down from the Steam shop. That happens. Stuff happens. How do you, uh, Ilya says, how do I generate new TOBJ files? Uh, if you're talking about on stuff that you're doing in Blender, it should create the TOBJs when it exports. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Although, I could, you know, there's that little plus symbol just below the path where you did your texture, which should generate the TOBJ on the spot. Either way, the TOBJ should export for you by Blender. Blender handles that. I'm probably going to get some pop-up asking me to go to a service station or something. Oh, you know what? This is my first time booting up Truck Sims since they came out with all the updates. Game change detected. Uh, if necessary, your truck was reparked to a safe place. Oh, by safe place? Where did it put me? There. Wait, what's wrong with my truck? Why have I got... Oh! Because I was driving some black fucking Peterbilt for... What was I doing with this? I think I was just test driving it. It's like, I think it was a next-gen um, Pete. Alright, so... First things first, let's just go into content browsers. Let's go into the trailer browser. Let's see if we could even get our trailer... Did they change their trailer browser around? I think there was a section for mod trailers or something. Was there? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, truck browser, trailer browser, trailer listing. That's for a freight market. Company browser. Okay, let's go into trailer browser. Um, Come up here. Oh, standard trailers. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and then there's like Load King and Prestige trailers. So nothing about mod trailers. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
I might be already missing files. Yeah, my trailer is not appearing, so I don't know. Try to see if at least maybe I got the the chassis to appear. Not even my chassis is appearing. And when I did the code, I made it uh i made it to where Ilya says maybe go to trailer purchase that wouldn't work um if it doesn't appear in a trailer browser it's not in the game uh, i can try but i could tell you right now already um trailer browser explores everything without you uh and, and the cool part about the trailer browser it's not level dependent so you don't have to be a certain level to see it whereas in the store you have to be a certain level to see things but trailer purchase. I mean, but if I go to trailer purchase, we got standard trailers. <sighs> I think I may be at a loss on the definition files. I may, I may have to have somebody help me with that. Cause I, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I got one trailer to work in the game before, but now it's not in the game anymore, which is why I'm doing this. Chief says, Faye, you check via the desktop vehicle browser. I did. It's not there. That was the, that was the first thing. So what happened, Chief? I, uh, you might have missed it. I don't know. You, AFK, maybe. Um, so I was checking via the desktop browser, and then Ilya said, check maybe check via the shop. But I already knew it wasn't going to appear in a shop because anything that doesn't appear in a browser won't appear in a shop. So something is screwed up somewhere and I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll just delete all the, the files and start over again. There, I, there's gotta be something that I'm doing wrong from the beginning. Drop down arrow. Nah, there's no drop down arrow for the, or I mean, there, there is, but mine wasn't there. Uh, the drop down arrow brought me to older, uh, load King or prestige. There was nothing other than load King or prestige. Uh, Ilya says maybe make a copy of a def file from another trailer mod and just rename yourself. Oh, that's what I did. That's what we were doing this whole time with these depth files I made the copies and then renamed my stuff but unfortunately see we have 3000 R vehicle trailer owned UK U3 K R whatever this trailer storage has trailer 3000 R which this is for AI traffic, I'm pretty sure. I don't even think I need this trailer storage. Because uh, anything dealing with trailer, that's this is all like AI traffic stuff. So in all honesty, I should be able to, to just get rid of, because I don't need my trailer in AI traffic. It's not necessary. So I could just get rid of trailer storage and trailer. But let's just go into trailer own U3KR. Tra 
actually hold on yeah let's go to trailer owned and under that there's nothing there just the folders for the stuff so the u3kr theirs was SES box here's my data SII which is vehicle u3kr which is a utility 3000R paint job color and chassis. Chief, any any help you throw my way, I would shit. I would appreciate it. Cause I am so so not seeing it here. Uh Let's check first under uh, the first thing I want to check is configurations and we have this single 53 F. Oh Oh, 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 hold on That single that F needs to be changed to an M. There's a mistake right there. I didn't rename this 好，did I miss that？And then we're gonna name this the mid tandem。I think I may have just found it，guys，because everything's based off the chassis。Single，single53M，CH53MSII。We can get rid of those two. And this needs to be three thousand R three thousand R. I could have sworn I did this. Uh, the icon is fine. Trailer definition will be trailer def dot. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. I think I just found the problem. This though, the trailer definition, where are you at? Okay, uh, where do I find the this the trailer def dot scs box dot single fifty three f? Is that under? It's not under data. No. I think that's what I'm missing is my trailer definition, but I don't know what file that's in. I have no idea. It just doesn't even say.
Ah, shit. Uh, I thought there was a way I could search within files for text. Or do I need a third-party app for that? Yoya says, imagine this trailer will be released today. I really don't think so at this point. I am so stumped right now. If anybody knows where I'm looking for the trailer definition, please let me know. Because I... Oh, I don't know where... Okay, this is the file I'm actually looking at. Or is this what's giving me the trailer definition? Am I naming the definition here? I do know I want SCS box to be UK or U3. U3KR. Trailer def. UK3AR. I'm lost. Chief86 says trailer def is fine. Well, I mean, I did need to rename it because it was using the same one as the default reefer. So, we made it unique. Uh, did you check your log file? It's your friend, you know, Faye. Yeah, but the log file is convoluted with errors. I could see, but... Um... Shit. I just had a brain loss as to... I think it's here. Nope. Where, where the hell is my game log? Oh, yeah. Game.log.txt, right? Uh, I was thinking farming simulator. Farming simulator is just log. <laughs> All kinds of crap having to do with trailer configurations here for something. Something to have to do with. I don't think that has anything to do with mine. There's so many fucking errors in this game. Because I'm using mods. Uh, death vehicle trailer deaths. Thank you. That's what I need to do. Because uh, without a definition file, the trailer will not appear in the game. Trailer devs. Okay, so... Dev vehicle. Whoops. And then... What was the original? It was like... Let's take that back out. All right, so. Doubles. 28, 32, 45, 53. Okay. Uh, trailer dep SCS dot box single 53 F reefer. There it is. Boom. So I could do a control A. 
and then take that one off. Nuke everything. Now we're going to rename this. Uh, SCS.box is going to go to U3KR. U3KR. And the 53F is going to change to 53M. And it'll leave the reefer. Now let's open this. So we got. Chassis mass, body mass, length, axles, volume, body type, chain type. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's try it again. I wish Steam would let us fucking just create desktop icons. <laughs> you can. Not through Steam. I've heard... Oh, like, not through Steam. Yeah, yeah, you have to go into directory structure and you have to find the EXE file for the game. And you have to make sure that, like in this case, I have to make sure I get the EXE file that launches uh, DirectX 11. And it's just convoluted. That's why I've just been too lazy to do it. I, I have an icon I just use. It doesn't even give me that option. Now that option for the DirectX thing, it only does that if you actually clicking play through the Steam, Steam works or the Steam file. Or Steam. Yeah, there, there's like three different EXE files I believe in the actual folder. Yeah, but. All right, let's try this again. Contact browsers, trailer browsers. Nope. Uh, it's just Load King and Prestige and the standard trailers. My trailer's still not appearing. Well, shit. Does not contain a manifest file. That's not needed. Uh, that is not even my mod. That's another 3000 R that's in there.
There's not even any errors for it. It's not throwing any errors. It's like the game's just not even... Being not even seeing mod. it. So that means that a primary definition file is missing, is what that means. So basically what this means, guys, is in order for an error to throw, right? The game has to be looking for the file in the first place. The game's not even trying to look for this trailer. It doesn't even think that the trailer is there. It sees the mod, it sees the mods installed, but it doesn't give two fucks about what's inside the mod because the there is a file missing that even tells the game that, hey, there's a trailer here and I need you to try and load it. So we're missing one of the upper level definition files. So we need to go back up to the top It's one of these files here, and I have a feeling it has to do with one of these trailer files here. Uh, most of these are scenery. Uh, adjust scene, config scene. I think this is just a trailer shop. Yeah, this is just a trailer shop. Trailer customization. Dealer scene, scene, scene. Anything that says scene is just uh, the shop, so we don't need that. And then we go to trucks. Uh, UI, vehicle lamp. What am I missing? Is it sad that I'm like two steps from just trashing this project? <laughs> oh my god. Uh Okay, we got test steam controller special event SCS logo road sing area. I think that's supposed to say sign. Quick reply. Police data, photo camera, personal stuff, multiplayer. Oh, they put the mirror uh, stuff in a separate file now? How sweet of them. I'll have to go into my mod and update for that too. Editor. Country, come. I, I'm. I don't know, guys. There's so many files to look for. I think I've hit my wall. Like I, I created that one utility trailer. How long ago was that? Was that like a year, two years ago? I think that was like two years ago. I have no idea how the hell I did that shit. What do we got? Add-on hookups? No. AI. AI. Cover, disc, hub, nuts, and rim, and tire. These are all... All of these have to do with the wheels, so that's not a thing. Trailer, trailer cargo, trailer chain types. Maybe trailer dealer? Oh, wait. Don't I have to... Hold on. Ah. Uh, okay. I think I have to make this appear in a dealer, guys. Uh, where am I at? Def vehicle. Trailer dealer. That's right. I remember. I think this was the problem I had when I created my original trailer, too. SES and then I'm gonna take this SES reefer 53 and let's name it U3KR. Now we need to come in here 
And then here's the trailer definition. This is where it matches up with the trailer definition. And then this is what gives everything that needs to appear in the store. Bingo. Okay, let's go find that definition file I had. That trailer definition right here. So this is going to be this. And here. Save. Okay. Uh, accessories. Data, chassis, body, front body, markers. I'm going to leave all that alone. Uh, vehicle accessory. Okay. Vehicle accessory data is going to the uh, trailer owned. Up. Oh, and I have to change these two. Um, control F. And we're going to replace scs.box with uk u3kr so let's find next okay replace replace i'm i know i could do a replace all but i'm just making sure of where i i kind of want to just have a visual where everything's at okay it was all these paths here so um yeah, those, those all looked good. So, coming back here, U3KR and Data SII. That file is present as well and accounted for. Uh, the chassis is going to go to... Oh, I never changed that F to an M. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a, that was a mistake too right there, but all right, so we'll go with this one All right for the body It'll be the box 3000 R You could tell I'm getting tired guys if this doesn't work we're gonna crack at it again tomorrow um, because I'm actually starting to lose focus again. I've been five hours now on the air with you guys. All right. Uh, so the markers. The chassis front left. Chassis front right. The rear body. The rear bumper. The rear mud flap. Uh, the paint job is just a color base, which is fine because right now all that's all we want is color uh, I'm gonna leave the tires alone because we're gonna use the default tires. So these are fine All right You know something else I forgot to do a while ago when I went in to try it again I forgot to copy the files to the mod folder. <laughs> so I need to come back up here to mod. Fade 3000 R. Oh shit. You've got to be kidding me. There was a. Mm. So the mod folder had another subfolder which had my mod in it. Oh my god. <laughs> How did that even happen? Did it unpack? Oh, I created a folder within a folder and that's what confused me because I had two folders in a row named 3000R. 
Oh my god, let's go try this again. <laughs> my, yeah, library, annoying. home, right click, uh, hold on, I gotta... Right click the game, manage at desktop shortcut. Oh shit, there we go. Thank you, Viking, and, and, and... Who else was trying to tell me? Chief, I think. All right, I'm gonna take this and put it under simulations. And you will go, I want you up here. There we go. All right, so now if I, now I can just quickly get back into the game. Holy crap, so it was the subfolder, dude. I bet you that was it. Well, I bet there's other errors we need to fix, but at least we made it another half step further. Faye, you want on a desktop browser, you will need the trailer desktop folder. Oh, shit. Yeah, our trailer is still not going to appear because uh, what Chief just reminded me of, I didn't create a uh, thing for the desktop browser. So like this one time, a goth camp, when we went around our goth, uh, the goth, the, 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 when we left the goth camp, we went around a lake, right? And we ended up in the Girl Scouts camp. Guys, did you know you could get kicked out for eating the brownies? Oh, man. So, yeah, um, what we need an entry for the desktop browser is what he was saying. This is not my 3000R, this is somebody else's. So, where do I configure this at? Like, I want to create a category for utility. Or maybe for Phalandea. I don't know. Maybe I'll create a, a thing for Phalandea. To have my own trailers. You guys know where I do that too? Is that also a net desktop thing? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to close that folder entirely. We're just going to edit directly in the mod from here on out. Dev. Uh, vehicle. Trailer desktop. Oh, this is almost a duplicate of, uh... What file was I editing over here? Oh, Trailer Dealer, I think it was.
So I should be able just to duplicate this, huh? Okay, question for you guys, uh, Chief or, or whoever. Um, so, which one of these, or where, or how, can I create my own category in uh, the store? So that on that left-hand side, I can, uh, yeah, I have my own category for that, for my trailers. Chain types, dealer, devs, desktop, on wheel. While I'm waiting on an answer to that, let's see if this file is giving us what we need. By the way, what I'm doing is uh, considered bad form. In case you guys want to know. Whenever you're testing a mod, you should be testing it on a clean profile. I just really don't feel like creating an entire profile right now just to test this trailer. So I'm kind of doing the lazy way and using my my current profile, which has a shit ton of Steam mods and the Steam mods are throwing 50 billion errors on their own. However, the way I make my 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 trailers is it's just a trailer. So there's nothing in Steam that should ever conflict with it. That said, I'm just like worried about getting my trailer to even appear right now. Oh! Oh! Well, we're getting warmer. My thing looked like it appeared, and then the whole game just crashed. Now that's always a good sign. I did see a typo already up here that I needed to fix, so... That was probably, <laughs> that was probably it, actually. It had, like, some sort of underscore, though. Failed to open file vehicle trailer owned SCS dot box. Chassis CH53M. Well, there's the problem right there. Um, There's no such directory. I already know that. Uh, it's supposed to be vehicle. Def vehicle trailer owned. Uh, UK3M. So something is referencing
Now I gotta open up all the files again and see, uh, basically yank anything that says scs.box. Let's start from the top. The trailer dealer. Nope. I'm gonna put that off the screen so I can see what the heck I'm doing. There should not be any instances of SES.box in these files. But who knows what we may have missed. Ah, here we go. There it is. Um... So it should be U3KR. Now, I'm now paranoid, so let's just continue to make sure. Because we've only got one more file to check. Okay, cool. Make the next attempt. If it does work and we're able to get this sucker to load, uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be skinning, making making skins for. Her. By the way, why is there a wallpaper appearing that's not mine? I had configured this so that only my stuff would appear. Whatever. <laughs> Las Vegas 2023. Interesting thing there. All right, so trailer browser. Now the pull down menu, there's this brand underscore U3KR. If anybody knows which file I have that in. Um, let me know. I'd like to be able to change that. And there we go. It's crashing again. Now what? Yes, I want to reload it. Okay, so... the My chassis line 3. The unit name CH53... 3M UK chassis is already taken by an existing unit. No, it's not. I just created this ship from scratch. What the? CH53M.U3KR chassis does not exist anywhere else. That's impossible. You guys literally just watched me create this from scratch today. Piece of shit.
Now I'm calling bullshit. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit irritated. There's no way that name exists anywhere else because it's unique. I just created it. Okay, there's no mention of it in there. No mention of it in trailer SII. Not in the door. Uh, in the flap, it's there for a suitable for, which is fine. Bumper is a suitable for. Not about the marker. Nothing in the king. It's a suitable for for the paint. Nothing there. Uh, I believe this is my configuration file, in which case it's not mentioned here. Nope. Nope. This is the only file with this name. But it's saying that the name is already taken. Up type accessory chess is data. I will guarantee you there is no other chassis in this game with CH53M U3KR chassis. No, it's that that error is false. I I don't know what the game is talking about, but the CH fifty three M. Fail to open file. Fail to open file. Def. Vehicle. Trailer owned. U3KR. Oh, there's a problem right there, though. Shit. I bet that's what I bet that's what's going on. Something somewhere has this in lowercase, and these are case sensitive. Shit. All right, let's open up all the files again. Find out what has uh, U3KR in lowercase. These are good. 
All of these are good. All right, that file's good. Trailer deaths. Good. Those are good. Those are good. Because remember, guys, this is code. This is not just text on a screen. All code is always case sensitive. These are all good. Uh, I'm running out of files here. What the hell? Uh, now I'm really confused. I literally just opened all my files and nothing is lowercase. Now oh, that's confusing. It's uppercase and data. Uppercase there. Uppercase there. Uppercase. the fuck I wish it would tell me which file is trying to access this wait a minute three is a wait a minute. vehicle trailer owner to accessory F body in F body it's uppercase Oh yeah, it's weird it's showing the log, it's lowercase. Yeah, but it's... Same with the uh, owned line 2368, two, it's showing lowercase too. And below that. Uh, Chief says, don't, uh, by any chance might be a mod co uh, conflict. It's, that's impossible. Nothing else could have possibly come up with the names that I have. Not in these, not in these orders. You three KR. Oh, fucking Dang, guarantee. Dude. There's nothing else in the game using that. So it looked like some of them were referring to paint jobs, or a um, paint underscore job. Well, I guess I'll have to do what I didn't want to do in the first place, guys. I'm going to have to sit here for 45 minutes to an hour. Going through tutorials and shit. To create a fresh profile. Why can't we just jump into the game and be able to own a truck and test? Uh... Oh, wait, do I have a test profile? Hold on. I think I have a test profile.
Ah, and it's playing music really fucking loud. God damn it. Alright. Options. Audio. Fuck, it's the music. Jesus Christ. Make my ears bleed. That's the other thing I wish we could do. Uh, from profile to profile. It'd be cool if we could just co uh, copy our fucking settings over. Alright, so we... Apparently I was testing the TR Top T680 and boosted save. Alright, well, let's see if we can get my trailer to work here. Um, Bay 3000R. God! What? I don't need to go through a wizard! I'm on a controller. We'll do real automatic. Why not? Oh my god, this is freaking ridiculous. The only reason I'm doing this is, you know, I'm gonna have to test the animations of the trailer too, so I might as well. That's the clutch, accelerator, brake, those look good. Actually, hold on. I'm just gonna click next through this. I think. I think I can manually copy the damn config files over. Yeah, you can. I just had to get out of the game to do it, but I really don't feel like dealing with a bunch of configuration bullshit. Let's see if the trailer appears, though, at least. Uh, right there. Wow. There goes the browser. I must be using a mod that changes my UI on the other one. <laughs> okay, it's gonna crash. Yep, there it goes. So it's not a mod conflict, Chief. We ruled that out. Uh, we just did that on a profile with only one mod active. Uh, before I go any further, let's do this. That one mod was in a red one, was it? Yeah, I know one of the mods you, you had on your list was red. I don't know if that was an active one or not. No. Okay. I only had three mods active. One was the boosted save, which gave me the test perimeters. Uh, and there was a truck that I was apparently testing, but... Uh, that wasn't red, was it? Cause you saw it on the... Like on your mods, one of your mods was had a red, red on it. Why am I only shown one profile? I've got two profiles. I got that testing profile, but this is only showing one profile. But that's ridiculous. Okay, I cannot copy the configuration files over because there's only one profile. But I've got two in the game. How do I have one profile here, but two profiles in the game? You know what? I think I'm getting to the end of my stream, guys. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> but let's take a look at the log. It's still trying to look for lowercase. I verified in my files, nothing is lowercase in my files.
and this is telling me that my chassis is already taken. The name is already taken. It is not already taken. Failed to open file, death vehicle, trailer on U3KR accessory, F body, CH53, MSII, and read only mode because this is lowercase and it should not be lowercase. I just did, Ilya. I tested this on a default profile just now. That's why uh, that's why your ears just bled a while ago with the music. Because for some reason in Truck Simulator, they don't believe in you keeping your settings if you want another profile. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to come about this a different way. Yeah, I'm going to cover about this a different way, guys. So. I'm going to change it to lowercase is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to open all of my files. And I'm going to change it to lowercase on everything. In fact, I'm also going to change the file names to lowercase as well. Changing the R to a lowercase on everything, too. I'm wondering if, they, if we're just not supposed to have uppercase in the titles. Maybe that's a limitation of the engine. So we're going to go to find and replace and I'm going to find uppercase U3KR and replace it with lowercase U3KR. We're going to replace all in all the open documents. 48 occurrences were replaced. I'm now going to find 3000 R and I'm going to replace it with 3000 lowercase R. Replace all in all open documents. 31 occurrences replaced. We're going to save all and we're going to close all. And let's try this again. There are sometimes I love Notepad. You couldn't do that shit with Notepad. Uh, Chief 86 says one is a steam cloud save. What was that referencing? Viking says that's also what someone on the SES Blender Tools forum told me a couple days ago. Check my files. So SES does not like uppercase in his files. All right. Well, we'll 
We'll go with lowercase and see what happens. I'm going to exit to the launch pad and load into the game again. Because it keeps telling me about the game change detected crap. <laughs> so, because it keeps resetting stuff every time I crash. So now we saved it in a proper state. Uh, content browsers, trailer browser. Let's watch it crash again. Yep, it's going to crash again. It's not the uppercase, lowercase. I don't know what it is. It's gonna, what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell me that my chassis already has its name taken when it hasn't. So we're gonna scroll all the way down here to the bottom and we're gonna take a look. Ah, there's still some uppercase trying to to do its thing. Ah. I think I'm just gonna scream now. Anybody mind if I scream? No? Good. Ah! Alright. I know that wasn't much of a scream, but Now I gotta go through and make sure everything's lowercase by default. file I missed. Oh, this one didn't get switched over. Okay, so the mud flap was funky. Okay, so if anything is case sensitive. The body somehow didn't save last time. chassis itself wasn't saved because that's not annoying
Before I move on, uh, Chief. DK, I don't know if DK, DMC, I don't know if DMC Edits is still in here. If one of you guys by any chance know how I can customize the name on the pull down menu, that'd be cool to know. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Because I'm not seeing any lines in my config files for that. But if we go into content browser, the trailer browser, when I use this pull down menu, standard trailers has a name, load king has a name, prestige trailer has a name, but then mine is like brand underscore U3KR. Oh! We didn't crash that time. We have an ugly green trailer. All right, what's being thrown here though? Uh, boost is safe and 3000 R. So now we're failing to load all kinds of shit. Damn. Hey, a trailer with a window. <laughs> At least we didn't crash this time. All kinds of crap all fucked up here. Why is why is it using the default doors too? It's using the default doors with it's uh, uh. Oh you know what? I think I know what's going on there. I know what's going on there. Okay, alright. Uh I think I forgot to delete the uh, default door when I installed the new door. And, and even though it was invisible, it's now I'm writing that. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of this. So we got single. And then, of course, the body. And then the bit tandems. Whoa! Whoa! But when I clicked on mid tandem, it crashed the game. Wow. Roy says five hours while I'm late to class. I'll be in the principal's office. Yeah, go to your room. <laughs> All right, let's open that game log now and see what's up. At least we got a different set of stupidity to look at. Alright. Failed to open file, depth vehicle, trailer owned, U3KR, accessory, F body, CH53, MSII. Now, why would you fail to open that though? Because it's there. I shall prove it. Okay. Def. Vehicle, V-E-H-I-C-L-E. -E. I'm checking for typos as well. Trailer owned. U3KR. Accessory, A-C-C-S-S-O-R-Y. Yep. F-Body. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Um, why would I be trying to open the... Oh, shit. Damn it, what would be going to that? That would have to be the configurations, I think. Chassis, no.
chassis. Yeah, how did this end up becoming that? The fuck? Okay, so that should take care of this error. I'm just going to delete so that I'm not losing track. File is a 3000R def vehicle. Okay. <clears throat> Unit name is in the wrong format. I bet it's too long. Well, shit. Let's copy this because I'm going to have to do a replace after I get this taken care of. If I just take the paint off there, that should work. Oh, you know what? We're not done with this. Because I did trailer dealer, which had this, but the uh, trailer depths. Was it the trailer depths? No. It was trailer desktop. Yep. So I had to come over here. F body. That's so weird that that ended up like that, but we'll just roll with it. All right, now I can move on. Trailer on E3KR accessory F or not F body it would be the paint hole. All right, I'm just gonna take that off Uh, Vikey says, have you missed the number on the front corners or are you not planning to add those? Uh, if you're talking about the trailer number, uh, not the 3000R logo, but if you're talking about an actual trailer number, I don't think I'm going to add it quite yet. I might add it in a future version, but for now it's just, yeah, we've got so much crap stopping us from getting this done right now that I, uh, I think I just want to focus on getting a trailer functional. All right, so now I need to find anything that has any reference to uh, any reference to the side skirts and correct those. Oh, but I do want to. to other view too. Dang it.
Yeah. They, they, uh, it's always something else when freaking, uh, notepad changes their stuff. It used to be just right click, move to other view, and now you gotta go into a sub menu to do it. And then I just ruined it by closing all those files. Okay, so now I need to look for anything that says paint 3000 R hole and replace it with just 3000 R hole. Seven occurrences replaced. Gotcha. Oh, you still changed these over here. Jeez. All right. And then. I'm going to change anything it just says paint 3000 R. To 3000 R. On that seven occurrences were changed. So that takes care of the paint hole issue being in the wrong format. Hopefully that's all it was, was the length. Oh, we already took care of that too. All right, failed to open that vehicle trailer on UKR paint job color SII. Oh, that's why, that's why, okay. <laughs> well, we'll do that. All right, so let's go. What was it? Vehicle, uh, the vehicle, trailer owned. SES box. Uh, paint job. And it's color SII, right? Yeah, color. That's probably what explains why our paint looked really weird. All right, so we'll just, uh, so that should take care of that. Error, redundant R wheel accessory removed. Huh? What? How the, f how the hell do I take care of that? All 
Uh, Viking says exterior model still has paint. 3000 RPMD on it. Oh, yeah. I think I did just remove it though. Um, you know what? I'll deal with the wheel bullshit later. Okay, so. Failed to open file material, UI, accessory, trailer types. What? Why are you wanting to open a material file there? Huh? Oh, wait, this is my accessory icons. Okay, well, may as well just go ahead and take care of that real quick, huh? So this will be... Material. New folder. UI. Uh, accessory. I think any of those, any of these will work. All right, so the TOBJ, right? I'm gonna have to edit that in, uh, where is it at? Studio. I've got an editor for it there, so. I'm gonna, I don't know where these file names came from with this, but that's weird, this UK. U3KR underscore U3KR. But whatever, I'll just roll with it. Uh, if I open a mat, then we're looking for U3KR TOBJ. And that's as simple as that. And then the DDS file. just do the uh, icon like this And as for the TOBJ, to edit that, we open up Mod Studio and go over here to SES Tools, and we have this little handy dandy tool called TOBJ Editor. So I'm going to load this bad boy up. Uh, TOBJ type is a uh, UI icon. That's what I was trying to do. Let's just change. So I just need to change this DDS. I 
and then I'll just override it. And now if I open it with Notepad, Notepad will have all this weird shit, but we're confirming it was changed by that. So we should be okay on that part. Whoops. So now I can close the TOBJ editor and close Mod Studio. And now that should be squared away. I don't know what this right redundant R rim, this redundant rear rim accessory removed is. If anybody knows what that's about. Incompatible image. Vehicle trailer owned SES box decal 10 DDS. Mip map presence requires power of two image sides. Huh? Okay. It's got a whole slew of stuff. Okay, so vehicle, trailer owned, SES box, decal 10 DDS. Let's figure out what happened here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll go 1024 by 1024. Enter. Save. Solved. That's literally all that needed. Oh. It didn't ask... It didn't give me the pop-up for... Hold on. I want to see if it'll force the DDS pop-up. Yep. Mip maps. It didn't have mip maps either. So... And channels. Does it have a channel? Yeah. Ah, but we got some white on the edge here. What's going on here? Let's let's round that off a bit. Whoops. Otherwise that'll appear all weird in the thing. So mid map alpha one and we are good. Oh right, now we're now we're good. Solved. Uh more R wheel accessory re more redundant wheel accessories. What in the world? I need to figure out what's causing this redundant accessory bit. Uh, fail to load or fail to open file material UI accessory chassis SES box single 53M mat in read only mode. Okay. Okay. Fail to open material UI accessory because I don't have one. Okay. Uh, Let's create one then. New folder. Chassis. That's come up here. I'm going to basically duplicate, but I'm going to edit a little bit too. Maybe. I don't know. As far as what Roy was saying. Duplicates maybe for the redundancy. I don't know. Um, what was it? Chassis. SCS box. Let's just copy this over. And then single 53M. So I gotta keep single 53F. And we're going to change the F to an M in the file name and the edits and go accordingly there. So this one's going to be kind of simple. Uh, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these wheels because you, you can see that it's, uh, you know, it's, it's all within this kind of grayish bit. 
and the tires are down in this lighter gray bit, which is uh, what we're wanting. So what I want to do is just basically move this so it looks like it's like at the halfway point. And then the little black square that I just created here. We're just going to, I think it'll be safer if I just draw a box around it. Okay, ta-da. Now we have an icon for our halfway uh, rims. So when we're looking at it, it should appear like so. Now, we're going to just change the F to an M and save it. Mip, uh, mip maps aren't needed here. I'm actually going to uncheck mip map because this is a UI icon. UI icons don't need to have mip maps. We are keeping the alpha though, so we'll just save it accordingly. Okay. And then I'm going to change the F to an M. Oh, wait. That's right, because I created the new. Okay, so we just need to change the F to an M in the mat. And in the map file, we'll just change the F to an M for the TOBJ. Whoops. And then the TOBJ will change the F to an M. And then again with uh, Mod Studio, SES Tools, TOBJ Editor, which I think they, I can get the TOBJ Editor directly in Windows, but I've got the icon like right here on my taskbar, so it's just easier. So we're gonna load file. to 53M, and this is again a UI icon, and all I'm doing again is changing the F to an M, and then we're gonna save and overwrite that file, and we should be good. Edit with Notepad++ just to make sure that the M stuck. It did, we don't wanna make any other edits though because it's an encrypted file and you'll like screw it up. And boom, that takes care of that error. Uh, then we have this trailer configuration. Oh, I hate nameless. I hate nameless. Nameless are so vague. Uh, def vehicle trailer own configurations. Um, duh, who knows what that one's even doing. So let's go in again. Let's see if we uh, made any progress. As long as I'm making progress, I'm going to continue this. If I get stumped, that's when I'm going to break off till tomorrow. But as long as we're crunching along on this, we're going to get as much of this done as we can right now. Because I'm, I'm kind of excited. At least to be making it this far. Content browsers, trailer browser. Click on here. We got our brand, up ah, our reefers there. Any errors so far? Let's see if any errors have popped up. Ooh, there's, well, yeah, we're still getting stuff failing to load. Uh, we're, we're now failing to load other stuff in the read-only mode. And my icon didn't load either. But the trailer, Look at that. The trailer looks good. And I already I already mentioned earlier, I knew from the get-go that we're going to have a couple of black marks on the ground. I need to do a custom uh I need to do a custom um fake shadow. The 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 UI shadow I forget what the file is called, but I need to pull that and make a version of it where I move the the tire treads back for the fake shadow. Um, I also need to take the default door out of there. It's overlapping my door and looking terrible. Let's turn on the lights. 
we do have lights. Uh, too bad I can't test brakes or blinkers in the UI. But the lights are looking okay. All right, let's go here. If I click on this, nothing's going to crash. And look at, we've got our icon. Come over here, utility 3000R. I click on it, no crash. This is the part to crash before was when I clicked mid tandem. Oh, no, we're good. So we clicked mid tandem and we're okay. Uh, for the paint. Oh, because we don't have any other options. We just had a crystal white. It's not the customizable, so we can't. Uh... Hmm. How do I do that? How do I make it? Oh, I know what I need to change. Yep. I. Uh... There's a line that says locked. I think if I unlock that, then we get the palette up here where we can change the color. And then uh, going into accessories, we have just the Thermal King for right now. Um, but I should be able to add the... Oh, why isn't the painted side skirt showing? It says it's there. It says it's selected. Okay, so for some reason my painted side skirts aren't showing up. And I am seeing errors there. Okay. I'm just going to throw random rims and tires just to, uh, okay. I've also got flickering going on. Do you see the flickering with the decals? That is solved by moving it out just a couple more pixels on the side. Uh, the mud flaps are there. I need to do a custom icon for it though. And of course the standard bumper as needed okay so and as you can see there's not much customization to this trailer yet but that's stuff we add on later on down the road this gets us a basic trader kind of going so let me actually tab out here real quick and i'm going to yes i want to reload the changes because we want those errors but i'm going to come over and i'm going to create another notepad file and i'm going to make a checklist Actually, what I need to do, can I, can I put truck sim in the windowed mode? Alt enter, maybe. I guess not. So options, Gra graphics, full screen mode. There we go. I want to take it out of full screen mode so that I can. What? I still can't get my mouse off the thing. Really? So even without it being in full screen mode, it's in full screen mode. So if I alt tab, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so I can, out, I can alt tab out of it. It just locks my mouse in there. You know, that's actually a good thing though, because that keeps me from panning out like other games let me do. All right, so what have we got? We've got, uh, let's go back in the content browser. I need to make a checklist. Okay, first off, I wanna change this brand U3KR. Brand underscore U3KR. I need to find out a way to make that appear as a name. And then icon for the brand. I guess. It's not popping up there, it's clicking on it, so hopefully something will come up. Uh, this is just fine. This is just fine. This is just fine. This is just fine. Uh, side skirt's not showing up. So side skirts uh, selected, but not appearing. Uh, we need to get rid of the door. Uh, 
get rid of original door. Oh, and flickering. See, uh, I got to move these decals up out a couple pixels because they are too close. So side DLT tape flickering. That's what we call that in the trucking world. Uh, just so you guys know, if you ever hear me refer to DLT tape, that is what these reflectors are called. It's DLT tape because it's tape that gets us compliant with DLT standards. Make sense? Yes, yes, it does. It makes perfect sense. It makes stupendous sense. It makes such awesome sense. <laughs> Don't ask. Just just roll with it. Just laugh. All right. We're, we're here to have fun, right? Um, usually there's an icon to put my truck on there, but uh, I wonder if it's because I'm a testing profile. Do I not own that truck that is in my UI? I don't know. This is a testing profile, so who knows? Either way, though, uh, at least we've in-gamed the damn thing. That is, to me, that's progress. That's a lot of progress. Oh, my word. Eh. Thought that's what you call it when your tape glitches out in real life. <laughs> DLT tape. That's hilarious. All right, so yeah, we're sure we want to quit. Yeah, we're sure we want to quit. Oh, need to be in a purchase purchase to add the truck. Okay, well, that's cool. I didn't really need to see the truck on there anyway. It's I, I think we've got the gist of it. Oh, I was getting so frustrated earlier. You guys, you guys heard. Man, it's it, when you're modding, it is so easy to get so stupid frustrated and mm, I was I was getting to the point of rage quitting almost. Uh, not permanently, just like for the day. But I really want to get as much done because I my goal for the day is to get the errors out of this. Because tomorrow's stream, we're going to put company logos on this thing. We're going to paint the... I want to be able to paint this trailer tomorrow for you guys. And I want tomorrow to be D-Day. I want tomorrow to be the day we get this thing somewhat launched. Will it be complete, complete? No, it will not. It will be functional. It will be error-free, if, if I can get it that far. And it will run. And it will be a full trailer. Future plans will be more reefer uh, choices. I want to do more reefer choices. I want to do... Um, Maybe some side skirt options uh, for different types and whatnot, different shapes. Uh, what else did I want to do? I wanted to do maybe there. There's I've got a Christmas list. First off, though, let's start racking out this list. Uh, let's actually come over here. This brand U three KR. If you guys know how I can customize that, that would be awesome. Uh, Chief, D DMC, anybody, if you know how to replace this brand U3KR with my own whatever, uh, please let me know. I need to create an icon for the brand, which I think is over there in the errors anyway. Side skirts selected but not appearing. Now, what's the deal with that? Let's see if there's anything having to do with the side skirts in our errors. All right, we've got these R rim accessory, redundant R wheel accessory removed. Redundant our rim accessory removed. What is causing this? I don't I do know if that had something to do with Chris saying, come out, so you need to remove the excess wheels and desks and track trailer depth. Make sure you have two axles. I, wonder, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with that. It should not be the case. Let's double check. But when I when I pulled the original files, I was using the tool at the tool tool tool. La, la. The two axle variants but let's see um that would be under def vehicle uh we'll go under trailer dealer first let's check this offset four offset two offset zero oh yeah i for some reason have 
Okay, zero, two, and four. I think four needs to go. I think I accidentally had the three axle selected when I did this file. Wait, hold on. Our tire three, our disc three, our hub three, our nuts three. Well, isn't that just nuts? I know. I had to create a hub for that joke. Just roll with it. All right. Okay, maybe that is what happened. Uh, it looks like I accidentally had a triaxle selected. I've been uh, trying to duplicate off of the... Um, what do you call it? The dual axles. But maybe, I don't know. I must have had some sort of weird reason that I ended up with this file. All right, so that should, in theory, have the redundant wheels removed. Let's scroll down. I just want to remove all instances of those because we're going to clean up this log as I... There's nothing wrong, by the way, with doing what we're doing to the log because anytime you start the game, this log's going to be overwritten anyway. So you can't, you literally can't jack anything up with this. All right, let's go to the next error. Fail to open file, vehicle, trailer owned, SES box, uh, CHSFL. Oh, the PMD for some reason, the path to it. It looks like we have a pathing error, maybe. So let's see, uh, let's go. Let's make sure the PMD is there first. That may be something that I forgot to export when I was doing my stuff. So, uh, Vehicle, trailer owned, SES box, accessory, CHSFL. Oh! Oh no, it's the case. It has an uppercase R. And you can't just fix that with notepad either. I can rename these files, but here's the problem. Um, the PMD and PMG have code in and to talk to each other. So I'm going to have to actually bring this in the blender and then rename it and then re-export it. But there's our problem right there. It's either that or... You know what, let's just do it the easy way. Oh, because it took that, oh man. Earlier when I did the other thing too, when I was trying to change the titles, it also changed the paths too. Okay. All right. We got this. We got this. I'm going to put the new title there. We're just going to change the depth files on that. So let's go with uh, def vehicle. Um, I believe it's just trailer own and then body. I don't think I need to go anywhere else other than just the accessory files for this. All right, so this for the name of the PMD will be there, okay? And then then just change that to that. I think that'll fix that. I, I I think that's good right there. All right, so the side skirt selected but not appearing should be off my list. I don't need to save that. Okay. So 
So those four lines should take care of the side skirts. Uh, material, okay. We're back to more. Material, UI, accessory, trailer types. Okay, new folder, uh, trailer types. All right. UI. Accessory trailer types. So we got low boy, log, livestock, grain hopper, gooseneck, fuel tank. Food tank, flatbed, dumper, dry bulk, drop deck, chip van, bulk feed, chem tank, box. I think box is what we're going for. Let's take a look at that icon. Eh, eh. Let's roll with it. Yeah, there is a TOBJ editor independent. So, all right. Um, copy the path, load the file, paste the path, grab it, and TOBJ type. And then we're putting a new file name in. Save as, overwrite it. Close it. Cool. That should take care of that error, and that also knocks off um, the icon for brand or for the type that I was doing. I don't know why I put brand, but all right. This was more of the. Yeah, and I think it says CHF and FR. So all of this was that side skirt as I was panning around trying to open it. So I can literally take all of these out because that is should, in theory, be fixed. Uh, 3000 R hole. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is more of the side skirt stuff. That was creating most of the spam on the errors here. And that was the mat trailer types. We fixed that. We did accessories. FR, FR. Uh, yeah, shit. Okay, so now we need to actually go into Blender. And this is where I'm going to actually come back and go away, sea cleaner. <laughs> I'll need your flack. Okay, let me catch up on chat. Uh, excess wheels in the depth. Okay, did that, Chief. Thank you. Um, Fake shadow. Oh yeah, the fake shadow. Thank you. I need to add that to my list. Thank you, Roy. Um, uh, need to be in the trailer purchase to add the truck. Great job. Uh, you should unlock the paint before blendering. 
Oh yeah, the paint unlock thing too. Huh. That'll be under Def Vehicle Trailer Own UK3R Paint Job Color SII, and where it says I've got to unlock that at level one as well. I did not realize it was not unlocked. Uh, base color locked. If I change this to false, then we should be able to change the uh, color to whatever we want in the thing. So stock true. Okay, cool. All right, so there's that. And Chief A6, the ACCC list at the top you need to remove from the top from the remove from the top from the list wait what that that one i don't know what we're talking about oh i know what he's talking about um that was under the the configurations where he's back on the uh this yep R nuts three, dis three. And then trailer desktop should be the same way. Just take out the three. Okay, there we go. Redundant wheels. Yep, got it, Chief. It took me a second. <laughs> I was like, Er, Alright, so now what I'm going to do is uh, we need to start pulling stuff back in the blender, right? Well, we've already fixed a bunch of stuff out here, so how are we going to do that? We're going to re-zip it. So I'm going to go to 7-zip, and we are going to add to fade3000r.zip. And there it is. Now I can uh, take this, and literally, for any of you guys that... Yeah, fade.exec has stopped working. Thanks. <laughs> For any of you guys that are not aware, SCS files are literally zip files. There's not even a special compression to them. All they do is have an extension that the game uses to read them. But you can literally take any zipped, uh, any mod that is just zipped and just change the zip to scs and you have a uh, mod so there is that all right so i put that into a working folder now we're going to come into blender and we're going to do this basically from scratch why blender insists on opening a monitor for i have no idea i have 12 monitors by the way uh, no, they're not literal monitors. It's uh, the display fusion. And I have like large monitor and a TV split into virtual monitors. And Blender loves to open on one of my right screens. All right. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new uh, base folder. This one is going to be, let's create a new folder. And I'm going to call this uh utility 3000 r repairs and i'm going to make this my base directory for this particular session now i'm going to import scs models and i'm going to go to america truck simulator and add base.scs to the list i always have base at a minimum in there if I'm working with any assets that is that are using anything from DLC, I will also add that as well. Now what I need to do is go to, I'm going to cheat this. I'm going to go 3000 R repairs, but then I'm going to go up one level and I'm going to come down here. Here's my fade 3000 R SCS we just made. And I'll add that to the list and click import. Now I can import the trailer directly from the mod. So, uh, Roy said, I heard it has to be in store mode. Uh, yes, under one condition. 
if you have sound files, if you have audio files in the zip, yes, it has to be in store mode. If you do not have audio files that are being accessed by the game, like special sound effects, then no, you actually do not have to have it in store mode. Store mode is uh, just something. Farming Simulator is the same way. Farming Simulator has a real rough time with sound files if you don't have it in store mode. So that's where the store mode comes from. Uh, so we're going vehicle, trailer owned, SES box, body. Wait, hold on. I actually had a brain fart on my own directory here. Vehicle, trailer owned, SES box. Oh shit, wrong folder, dude. Oh, right. Oh, because I have base. Yep, that was a... Uh... I was right in the first place, but what threw me off was when I saw the other boxes there. Because I, you had the base there. So, yeah. Um, I don't think I had to do anything with box. No, I didn't. I had to do something with the chassis, though. The chassis was where the re... Was wait, was the reflectors on the chassis or the box? Oh, you know what? I think I am right. I think I had to go with the box. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? I just didn't import it. It's no big deal, it'll just get re exported into my stuff. All right, so let's uh get rid of all this fluff. So we're gonna go sidebar visibility tools and click visible and boom we are good oh yeah yeah it was the box not the frame okay so what we're trying to fix on here is the flickering that i was getting in the game from these reflectors and i'm getting the flickering here too i'm surprised i didn't notice that before you see how as i pan the reflectors are kind of flickering so that's actually a pretty easy fix um i'm just gonna select the reflectors and I want it to be not the reflective yeah that's the reflective I want the regular reflectors and I'm gonna do some adjusting on my mouse here try and zoom in nice and close okay I'm gonna go into edit mode and I'm gonna select all on the reflector and then I'm going to go S X oh whoa I had the wrong thing selected never mind come out of edit mode there we go tab a a selects all and then I'm going to go S for size and X which locks it onto the uh, thing. Now I don't want it out too far, just a few pixels. That should do it. But I don't want the reflectors to be like hardcore mushed either. So I just want to do a little. I just want the reflectors to be just like a pixel outside of the reflectors. That way they are. Um, reflecting but you don't get weird blurring uh silliness when you're looking at it in the game so that should take care of the box that's simple now all i have to do is re-export it so we're going to go vehicle trailer own ses box body and here it is we'll select this directory uh, now, since I only have one thing in here, I'll just leave Active Scene, click Export. Roy says, hold shift for precision movements. This is uh, true. I just never remember it. I never, ever remember it. All right. And now 
I'm gonna delete that hierarchy. I'm done with the box. Uh, let's come back here. So we got DOT tape flickering. Let's get that off the list. Okay, we have two more things to do. Let's go ahead and import our door. So import SES models. Now we already have our archives on the list. So all we have to do is just hit import. And now I'm gonna come up to accessory, rear, body, and door 3000R and click okay. And let's go ahead and bring the door in. Okay, now the door you see was all funky because my utility 3000R door is over my beautiful, look how pretty our door is compared to the default. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that door. That's all we needed to do there. Vehicle, trailer own, SES box, accessory, rear body, select directory, export. Again, leaving it on active scene because this is the only thing we have in here. So, cool beans. Now let's uh, delete the hierarchy and scratch that off the list. So we got rid of the original door. All right, that's another problem solved. I love it when we solve stuff. And then the fake shadow for the tires. Now this is where, uh, I think it's under the chassis. No, it's under UI shadow. I don't think I ever imported it. So if I go import SES models, now remember we have the base selected so we can uh, we can get to that. And I believe it's under chassis. Yep, shadow. Uh, this is what we want. We want the shadow 53F. So we're gonna import this. This is something that wasn't a part of the mod before, but we're gonna make it a part of the mod now. Look familiar? There's our black spots. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to import my chassis so that we can line it up with the axles. And then we can always delete my chassis out before we export or as uh, we found out earlier, the selection is working now, which is nice. Uh, but where are you at? CH53M. Okay, so here's my mid chassis. And let's go to uh, visibility tools and get our visible stuff. So you see how the marks are too far forward? We just need to move those back. Now there's nothing physical I have to do in Blender. So now Blender is literally just a reference. That's all Blender is at the moment, is a reference. And shit, all those stickers should have went on the body, huh? Oh well. <sighs> Moot point now. All right. So now what I'm needing to do is I need to open the uh, file, that DDS file, into uh, Photoshop. Vehicle. Trailer on, SES box, chassis, nope. Okay, I need to find out where the texture for this is, so where are you? Vehicle, trailer owned, SES box. Ah, it's in the root directory of the box, okay. And shadow 53f.dds. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to import this. Oh, something I want to do first. This Shadow 53F, we're going to rename it to M, and we're going to have to write definition files for this. Okay, so there's a Shadow CH53M. Remember that. Uh, I'm also going to add that to the list. Um, add Shadow CH53 I'm going to copy paste just to make sure I get the spelling right. Two deaths. Okay. So that'll be on our list of stuff to do then. 
Right. So in the Photoshop file, we look at channels and the alpha is where we're looking at here. And this is where it gets kind of tricky because it is such a low quality um, file. But I think I think we could do this. How I'm gonna do it? There's no real clean way to do this because of how smudgy and crappy it is. But here's here's the trick that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of come into Blender and visualize how far I'm moving, and it looks like the it looks like this is even already with an axle. So I just gotta kind of flip it. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this up. Uh, not, come on, straight, not to the side. It's because we have so few pixels here. God damn it. Wow. It just did not want to move straight up, but that's okay. I'll just nudge it. You know what? I got another idea. I I need to... If I want to do this right, I'm going to have to work in layers. So we're going to copy this into the RGB area. Okay. Now let's take this. And let's create a copy of it. Then I'm going to move it. Kind of like so. And I want to kind of... That should do it right there. That should actually do it right there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take the smudge tool. And I'm just going to Fuck you then. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Redo. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go to plan B. Clone stamp. When life gives you desperation, make desperate things. Did that make sense? If not, then I'm okay with that because, yeah. Now I'm going to take the smudge tool. And we're just going to get rid of that harsh line I just created. There we go. That's so all I needed right there. Now i got to come to layer tool. Tool? Tool? Layer 2? And we're going to just smudge this out just a touch. Just to get rid of... Again, we're just getting rid of the, the harsh kind of... I didn't want to dip into the axle area too much there. There we go. Just the edge. That's all I need. Uh, come in for the outside. Just pushing in just a bit. Just a Whoa. Jeez. Forgot to off click it first. There we go. Doesn't have to look pretty. Just has to look blended. I mean, it's a freaking shadow, so. All right, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna merge it down. Then I'm going to take this layer and I'm gonna copy it back over to the alpha. Then I'm gonna come over here and get rid of this layer. So we have our solid black in. And I'm gonna save this bad boy. So now I have the M type thing. So now we're gonna come over here and grab the 
texture for it. See, it's pointed at the 53F. But now I'm going to grab the 53, whoops. SCS box. Shadow CH 53M. Oh, I messed up. Hold on. Control Shift S. Targa. Because we're creating a new file, new TOBJ. I also forgot to do something else. Rename that shit to M. All right. Little steps I keep forgetting, but there it is. Shadow CH 53 M Targa. And there it is. And see, you know, even though we had some imperfections in Photoshop, you can't tell. It's just a blended shadow. And now our shadows are right under the tires. So we could go ahead and create a TOPJ for that. Right? And now I can get rid of the chassis because we no longer need it for the reference. And let's go export this bad boy. Uh, this is going to be vehicle, trailer, own, SES box. Uh, is it stored in a chassis? Shit, now I can't remember. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. So, vehicle, turn on, NCS box, chassis. Oh, yeah, yeah, Shadow 53F. So, I'm going to select that directory. And now, when I export this, I should have a CH53M. And then we'll create the uh, stuff for it accordingly. There it is. So, now we should have uh, the shadow. So, fake shadow for tires. Scratch that off our list. Now we just need to add this new shadow to our thing. But first, we're going to pack a mod. Anyway, I was trying to look at something else. All right, so we're going to go to my modding workshop, ATS mod pack. Uh, let's create a new folder. Uh, 3000R fixes. 3000R go up. Shit. There we go. And accept. Wow, it actually did the path correctly. Huzzah! I just wanted to try that because, uh, I was having problems with selecting the folder before. Uh, it was trying to do relative pathing, and it looks like they fixed that too. I told you guys it's been a while since I modded. All right, and we're going to call this what 3000 R fixes. Okay, and uh, I don't need to worry about export, so we're going to pack the mod. This one shouldn't take very long because we're only exporting a few parts. No errors, no nothing. That's good. And now I have... If I go into my mod pack, we have our 3000 R fixes, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this folder here and I got to bring up the actual mod folder. Yeah, I'm in truck sim there. So in my Fade 3000R, first thing I'm going to do is take Automat over. 
And if it wants to replace files, I always do. I let it, automats, you should always copy them all over and keep them up to date. Every time you do an export in Blender, it like does automats from the get-go. So uh, material environment, fuzzy reflection, don't need to do that. I already know I got that here. Which I shouldn't even have that in there because the game has that. All right. Now I'm going to go to vehicle, uh, share, models, cable connectors. I don't need to worry about that. We didn't edit any of that. However, trailer owned, SES box. And let's just go ahead and take our textures as it were. Come over here and overwrite. We're going to replace the files. And then we're going to delete a couple because we ended up with the uh, Shadow 53F. We don't need that. That has nothing to do with our uh, mid tandem, so we'll just get rid of it. Everything else is good to go. Then we're gonna come to chassis. I do not want the uh, CH53M because we didn't make any changes to that. However, Oh, and we don't want the CH53F, but I do need my CH53M. So let's copy that over. All right, next, the body that we edited. This I do want to overwrite because we made a physical change. Replace those files, everything else should be good. And accessory rear body. We made physical changes to the doors. Replace those files. All right. Now I need to add that shadow to the definitions. Did I just close the... Okay, no, I didn't. Good. All right. I'm going to close this folder because we're done with it. And we're going to come over here. Oh, and I'm going to close off uh, the originals too. We're getting to the point where we're eliminating folders now, too. That's a good sign. That's actually a very good sign. So I need to go into dev vehicle. And I believe we are going to... I don't know if trailer dealer had anything to do with that or not. Let's take a look. We got our chassis. Just has a chassis. Body, F body, markers. FL, FR, rear body. Bumper, mud flap, paint job and tires and nuts nope yeah i think the only file i have to edit is the actual uh chassis file which is right here so here it is shadow ch53f well we just changed that f to an m there's the tobj and there's the physical UI shadow that we did. Now, while we're still in this file, we want to verify, verify, verify. Always verify. So we're going to go to vehicle, trailer owned, SES box. All right. And look for shadow 53M. Shadow underscore CH underscore 53 underscore M. Shadow CH53M. So we're good there on the TOBJ and the texture. Uh, as far as the PMD, I don't see the PMD. Oh, because it's on the chassis folder. Uh, so go into chassis there it is ch53 m pmd so we should be good so i'm gonna save that and now we should have our proper shadows <sighs> now take a deep breath and launch the game i think i'm talking more to myself on that one In case you guys are wondering why I get that uh, request to use SDK features come up every time, that's because I have SIM dashboard on a tablet on my desk. So that is perfectly normal. 
Content browsers. Trailer browser. And again, no, I wish I could change this brand underscore U 3KR. Uh, do I have any errors coming up? <gasps> no errors! We loaded the trailer and there's not a single line of red. There's not even yellow. Oh, all right. Look, our door's all nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This makes me as happy as two fat, naked, hairy, sweaty midgets molesting an unwilling lawn gnome underneath a full moon in Chief 86's backyard. I am telling you. Yes. Now, let's click this. No errors. Click on there. No errors. Clicky. Good. Click on a box. Good. Okay, click here. Good. Click on the mid tandem. Good. Now, I know it's selected by default, but it's always good for them to kind of click on there physically just to make sure that if you have any interface. Because remember the last time uh, I clicked here and it didn't crash, but then when I clicked here, the game crashed. So it's just one of those double checking um, things. So, yeah. Paint job. Now we can control our color. Again, remember, I made the roof stationary. I did not want the roof to be paintable because in real life, the roofs don't get painted. Just the size of the, size of the trailer, and in this case, the front as well. But yeah. So, uh, just to make it kind of easy to see, I'm going to make it kind of a, a burgundy. And there's that. No errors in the log with paint. Freaking outstanding. Final step, guys. Click on the Turbo King. Click on the icon. Which, uh, for some reason, switched the trailer back to white. I wonder why that is. Oh, well. Either way, it works. No errors on the marker lights. The trailer skirts are no longer drawing errors. Got to flip through all the rims. And these are all default rims. Man, there's a lot of freaking rims. No errors. Excellent. Uh, let's flip through all the nuts. Honestly, I don't foresee anything going wrong at this point, but... Just to be sure, because you never know. You get such weird things. God, oh man, guys, I'm so excited. You guys, you guys better know, I love all of you. I have to love all of you. You know why I have to love all of you? I actually had a lot of plans for my two week vacation and I just spent half of it doing this trailer. <laughs> In all seriousness though, I really do feel good about this and I, I love the fact that I was able to get this done. Hell yeah, put some good your Dura seals on there. Alright, so now I'm gonna actually take off that. I'm actually gonna try and mimic. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, there it is. 
I'm gonna try and mimic uh, the trailer setup I had in real life. No errors. Mud flaps. Uh, I do need to create a uh, custom icon for my mud flaps. And a custom icon for oh i never added the bumpers uh bumper stops shit jeez okay so i need to get bumper stops in there that's a necessity but now that we've got the main part fixed adding stuff from here on out is easy as fuck but there it is she's a plain white but that's how you get them from the factory anyway now, test two. Now we're going to go to trailer purchase. And then we go to... Uh, how do I do it from here? Is it under standard trailers? Now I'm worried again. Uh, customize? Okay, uh, so we have ran into another little problem. Hmm. Ilya says you got to make your own brand, I think. Y yeah, but how? And my chassis, the chassis that I made, is supposed to be able to work on all trailers, too. So even if my trailer is, like, Manifest SII? Uh, no, the Manifest... So what the Manifest does, the only thing the Manifest SII affects is your front end when you're selecting mods. That's all that affects. It's the only thing that affects. You can technically have no... I, I literally have no mo manifest SII. So... So we got the trailer working in the game. We just can't buy it. And we gotta find out why. Def vehicle trailer dealer SCS Should this be under its own folder or something? I wonder if this is where that UK3R is coming in. I want to try something. I'm going to keep that open. Uh, that doesn't solve the store issue, but uh, this will let me know. No, that didn't make any change there. It was still brand U3KR or whatever. I wonder where this brand line is. No errors popped up on that either. All right, let's.
what I need to do is I need to open up that other trailer that I have from that guy. Uh, what what was it? It was like Rod or something like that. Dom? Don? Dom? I don't know. Uh, Roy says, oh, I thought it was more important. Nah, it, it just... Well, it is important if you're making your mod public because it does tell people in the UI what your mod is and gives the thumbnail and all that. But yeah, beyond that, it does nothing. Oh, wait. It was the other one that I had changed. I wonder if this is the file that that... Or this is the one that, that changes. Let's go check that out. Test these theories. Oh, no, that actually made it not appear at all. Yeah, because of the space. So, let's. Just... I'll just leave it as such. But now I know how to change that line. It's just, uh. Yeah. So why is it not appearing in the store, though? I mean, it's appearing on the desktop. It's just not appearing in the store. I'm gonna try making my own folder instead of it being SCS. I'm gonna have it just be mine. But there's gotta be. I'm so confused by that right now. It's just driving me up a wall. Ah, let's see, def. Trailer chain types. Uh, trailer dealer desktop. Roy says, is it its own mod package? I don't understand what you mean by that. Like, if you're asking if it's a standalone independent trailer, uh, completely separate from the default trailers, then yes. I took parts from default trailers, but other than that, it's 
it's its own thing. Did I just change the default? Oh god damn it. Are you serious? Oh good thing that's in a work folder and not my own. Roy says, well, I'm invested in this. I haven't even used my vape since I got here. <laughs> now that's commitment. All right, now we're going to get crazy vehicle. Uh... Oh, shit. Trailer. SCS box. And then it was uh, Reef Reef fifty three F dot S I I. Well, let's Oh, yeah, this is all traffic stuff. I do not need any of this. Delete, delete, get out of there. Just delete. We don't need the trailer storage either. This is trailer storage is strictly for AI traffic.
So, I don't know why I can't get this in a store. It appears in a trailer browser, it just won't appear in a store. But we'll see if it appears in a store under this Phelan Day or whatever. I I don't think that would have any regard on it though. There's no errors coming up. So again, content browsers, trailer browser. And I could select it and here it is. No errors, everything's good. Looks beautiful, it's a trailer. But when I go to the trailer purchase, oh wait, unable to find your fleet configurations for this brand. Okay, well I have, by making that folder, I did some stuff. Failed to open file, trailer, brand, logo, Valen Day of Matt. All right, and how do I get my configurations into there? Shit on me. Well, we're getting warmer. All right, let's, uh, let's go hit that up and fix that error. Actually, before I do, let's get this email read because that stupid thing is bugging the crap out of me. It's all those new transports that came out with the, yeah. All right, well, quit out, yes. Yeah, I want to reload. Let's take a look at the errors. So, fail to open file. Material UI. Trailer brand logo, okay. Material UI. Trailer brand logo. Okay, make it progress. There's only one in there, so. We are going to change SCS to Phelan Dea. Because that's what it's looking for, all lowercase, yep. Yeah, stop. All right, so we have that, the mat, there we go, and then the TOBJ, Okay, now the question is, how do... Ilya says, is this trailer releasing tomorrow, you said? I doubt it releases tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing skinning, and that's a whole other animal too. But uh, we're getting close. We are getting very, very close. So now I need to... Def, vehicle, trailer dealer, Phelandea, U3KR, but, so, th the thing came up, but, 
You should take company skin requests. Oh, I'm only going to be doing one skin for it. I'm going to let the community make their own skins. I'm not making a bunch of skins. I'm just going to make one to make sure that we can even paint this thing. So, yeah, I'll be I'll be making a uh a company skin based on the trailer that I took the photos of this for. Uh, I'm not even Okay, if this doesn't work... Oh, shit. I have to... Actually, hold on. I have to exit out of here. Yep, I want to quit. Uh, I need... To actually come back up to material. Because we need to edit my brand here. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's right, I'm not working with Blender at the moment, so it's just a control S to save. Done. All right. Sweet. Okay, now let's take a look. There's my logo, but there's no trailers and my trailer is not over here either. This is getting frustrating. So my trailer is able to be brought into the game, but I can't buy it. Absolutely frustrating. I don't know. All right, guys. Wow, eight hours on this stream? Jesus. So I've been working on this freaking mod for eight hours. <laughs> uh, that might be part of my problem. I might just need to take a break and come at this later. So I, I don't know. If anybody figures out, leave in the comments how to how to get this able to be purchased in the game because right now i can't do it it this is beyond my means so i'm done it's just oof. yeah i don't know this is uh this is frustrating but I'm sh it's got to be something stupid simple. And I'm not seeing anything in the files to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to troll around the net. I'm going to see if I could download a trailer uh, or two that has custom whatever. And see how they did it. And see if there's a trick to getting this. Because I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Um, and it's, it's becoming extremely frustrating very quick. 
I have been streaming for eight hours on this, so I'm going to go ahead and call it. Uh, I'm not going to do much off screen other than try and get it to be purchased in the store. And if I do, uh, Ilya says, I got good dev files. Yeah, but they're not going to work on this. Um, because they don't create their own category is uh, the problem. I need something that has its own category uh, in the UI. So I'm going to go. Uh, I'm, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go get some food. I'm hungry. So you guys take care. Stay safe. I will see you tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's agenda. We are going to be uh, skinning this regardless. Regardless of if I can get it in the store or not. Um, I can't release it, obviously, until you guys can buy it in the store. But at least we can still get some of the other physical stuff done. So, uh, that said, uh, you guys stay safe. Thank you for joining me through this eight hours of crazy badness. And I will see you in the morning, guys.